jetzt. Okay. Uh, we have been waiting for cur Turkey currently, but uh, as we have to start, we are going to begin shortly. I am waiting for my colleague who is still in discussions. Um, a general note for everyone, we have uh, remote delegates as in previous years. They are represented by proxies. There is, uh, as I was told, uh, up to 30 se seconds of delay for the remote delegates. So if we close votes, we will have to delay the votes at least for half a minute for the, for pre before uh, providing the results. So um, I'll give the microphone to my colleague who is... Hello, thank you all for coming. I'm Anton Nordenfur and I will be chairperson today. Applause. No, okay, thank you. Thank you. This mic is horrible. I need to get to work. Okay. We'll start immediately with the approval of the agenda, which is seen here in front of us all. And I will simply open for the floor for any discussion on the agenda. There seems to be no comments on the agenda. Can we pass the agenda as it is? This is time for votes. Can we pass the agenda as is? Yes, I'm waiting for anyone to vote before we do any position. Oh, oh, sorry. Is this better? Great. Can we pass the agenda as is? Any oppositions? <laughs> and now we have to wait 30 seconds for the delegates, for the online delegates. And we passed the agenda, sis. <clears throat> we then immediately go on to the first motions which concern the current GA presented by the Netherlands party. Um, quiet. quiet. Is this one better? Test, test. Oh, no, testing, testing. Can you hear me? Everyone in the back? Yeah. Great. Okay. Uh, the first motions which will be handled now are the, Netherlands, uh, the Dutch uh, motions concerning the current GA, um, which can be seen here on the screen. Um, we open up for discussions on these motions, on the first motion, of course, which is no binding decision for absent members by default. Yeah, come please to the front, so uh, you are on the stream and... Uh Thank you. <clears throat> then we open up for further discussion on the motion. 
Yes, Angles. Um, so for the board of the Pirate Party International, I want to state that in this motion sets actually the General Assembly has not been announced no earlier than XXX. Um, so the XXX means the 26th of November 2013 and the decision to hold the assembly in Paris was not a board decision but instead of member voting. So the members were informed of the place and date of the GA no later than the 26th of November. It was published on every single wiki page in a site notice on, on, as, a, as a banner. Um, since then, and um, I apologize uh, to the Pirate Party of Netherlands, then we have not clearly communicated it towards them, so they had some doubts about when the GA actually was about to take place. Thank you. Any further comments? Yep. Yes. Do not come to the front in for the oh. stream, please yes. say your name. I'm Donny Simone, I'm also a board member of uh, Pirate Parties International right now, but I'm talking as a delegate for Swi Pirate Party Switzerland right now. And I actually would like to ask a question, and the question is how many delegates are here, or how many Pirate Parties are represented right now? Because you claim that there are not so many Pirate Parties present, so I'd like to know that number. 20 parties are present. 21, sorry. So actually it's the same as the years before, more or less. So I don't see that there are too few pilot parties represented. It's no problem for us that we take decisions here. Thank you. Further discussion? If there is no further discussion, we will simply go on to the vote on this issue. Um, at this point, I need to remark, which I forgot in the beginning, that we have uh, elected uh, minute keepers and table leaders. We have Antonio, last name I can't pronounce, as minute keeper, Justus Römer as minute keeper. <laughs> will, will you please say your last name, because I can't pronounce it? Montaikis. 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 Thank you. And uh, table leaders, Joseph uh, Collentine and Daniel, I'm sorry, I forgot your last name as well. Yeah, but apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and then we go on to the voting on this first motion. Uh, those for the motion. Oh, sorry, yeah? Yeah, before we do so, do we have a minutes taker? That's what I just announced. Oh. Uh, Antonio and Justice as minutes keepers. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Where do you take the minutes? Are they in a etherpad available? To the public or not? They are, take they are taken offline due to the internet connection, I believe. The minutes keepers say that they can uh, uh, publish this in a pad every 15 minutes or so. If so, it's wished for. It seems wished for, so it would be great if you could do so and announce the pad as soon as you have it ready. <coughs> could we please have some silence in the room too? Okay, then we go on to the actual voting again, if there are no further comments concerning this. Great. Who are for this motion, the first one? What? They are taken each uh, separately, so it is only the first one, this MOP one. Okay, let's repeat. For the motion, this one, MOP1. MOP1. The one on the screen. And who is against? And. Is the tablet is keeping with properly? Yes. 
Are the tablets ready? Are the tablets ready? Um, okay, uh, let's redo this uh, vote since things were unclear. Everyone take down. There. Answer? Yeah? Um, Shh. Please. Uh, as far as I remember, uh, one person can only have two votes, not three. Yeah. I don't have three votes. I have two votes and I'm remote drawn for Kevin So I'm, pro I'm remote drawn for them. And two delegations and a drone. The, the ones who act as proxy can also have their own vote for their own country at the same time, so they can have more than one or two. <coughs> Masha? Okay, we have to take a short break for the remote delegates to get connections. Uh, we'll be back in... It is now 11.43, we'll ba be back at 11.50.
Who else is having problem with the online delegates? Shh. Who else is having problem with the online delegates right now?
We will be starting the meeting in two minutes. Hello. Any delegates currently having problems with the internet connection? Quiet. Any online delegates currently having problem with the proxy?
Everyone, we're ready to begin again. Um, we ask everyone who wants to speak of the physical delegates here to come here in front to the microphone. I know it's a little bit of hassle, but you do the remote delegates really a favor because they can see you and they can clearly hear you because there is a microphone. Thanks. Is there any other delegates now that have problem with their online delegates? Any proxies with problem with the online delegates? No, that's amazing. Then we will, then we will finally go on to the voting. Uh, can you get it on the screen? Second one. The first one. That's the one. Uh, we have to redo the first one since that was very unclear due to a number of factors. Yeah. Um, that's MOP one. No binding decisions for absent members by default. Soon showing up on the screen here, and there there is. Then I will ask everyone in favor to please raise the voting cards. No, it's for MMP1. Still MMP. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Joe's. Yeah. We have to redo it again. Yes. <clears throat> for clarity, now the first motion, which is called no binding decision for uh, decisions for absent members by default, which is showing up here. It has no influence on the uh, subsequent motions. Everyone in favor of this motion, please raise your voting cards now and keep them up as the table leaders can and count the votes. Thank you. Everyone against the motion MOP1, please raise your voting card. Yes. Shh. We are still voting. The tabulators are counting the votes. Thank you. And now abstentions to MOP1.
Pardon for the confusion and the extra time here, as there was some confusion regarding if the, uh, the tabulators were to write down which countries were to what, or merely the numbers. We are merely writing down the numbers until anything else is asked, because it is not clarified in statutes. If you, for a specific voting, need to have what countries vote for what, we need you to say that before the voting in the future. And the results? The motion has fallen. Then we move on to the second MOP2, solely temporary decisions to be reaffirmed. Can we have someone presenting this motion as well? Uh, motivation is the same. The idea is to uh, use the decisions that are being made uh, today just to view them as a temporary decision. They do take effect, but on the next GA they have to be reaffirmed. Uh, it's really simple and shouldn't block process, but uh, should allow for people that uh, feel that they don't have the democratic, democratic representation that they can reaffirm the decision on a later GA. Thank you. Any decision on the topic? The floor is open for discussions. If there is no discussion on the topic, we will go directly to voting on MOP2. Those in favor of MOP2, please raise your voting cards. Was there a question? We will have a 30 second delay as promised. We are still in voting, those four. Thank you. Those opposed? Thank you. Those abstaining? Thank you. Uh, there seems to have been someone who has voted twice, and thus we have to re redo the voting. Please remember you can only vote once. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, please lower your voting cards. There seems to have been confusion in the voting, as some has voted twice, and we have to redo the voting. Those in favor of MOP2, please raise your voting cards. Thank you. Those opposed? Thank you. 
Please lower your voting cards. Apparently the same mistake has happened again. Someone is voting twice. No, because it's the second time we have one vote too much. I usually have the right number of participants. Then I change it. Can they increase the number? Can they increase the number? Never mind, there seems to have been some confusion. Can we please have some order and if you wish to speak, you raise your hand and then you walk up to the podium. Don't shout out because the delegates can't hear. Yes. Walk up to the podium. I propose to note who is voting. Uh, so, in the, uh, in the weekend. For, can we please... Did you mean for this specific voting or in the general? Please, can we... Yes, in, in general, I propose this. All right. We will have a discuss, uh, discussion and vote on this topic before we go on further. Uh, it's a bit off topic, but uh, remote delegates need a pad with minutes like ASAP. My internet connection is too slow. Still. Into the, uh, I can't open anything here. Okay. So um, I, I could, if I might join the. Uh, I'm still in the public Wi Fi, so maybe if I join the other Wi Fi, that might be possible, but like, if too many people do it, but I'll try it. Doesn't any matter. A reminder that we actually right now discuss the topic of whether to uh, demand voting, uh, demand to be writing what country votes for what. Yes? Hi. Um, on behalf of uh, PP Catalonia, they are saying that we have to uh, annotate uh, every what uh, the vote of every member on every uh, um, on, uh, every motion, just for traceability, and to know who who voted for what, and then we have to publish uh, every, everything just for us. They want it, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it is not compulsory just to say that. Yeah. According to the statute, this is not mandatory, but as I understand you, Catalonia demands that we do that, or they ask that we do that. Correct? Okay. Further discussion on the topic? Okay, there is no further discussion on the topic, and thus we shall vote on the... on the... <coughs> on the... wished... Um, motion that we will uh, write down who votes for what in every um, part of the minutes from now on. Those in favour, please raise your voting cards. There seems to be some confusion whether what we are voting for. Can everyone please be quiet and I will speak. Can we please, can we please have, a, have as a general rule that you only speak in a microphone because otherwise the online delegates can't hear and there will be total confusion. What we are voting upon now is whether or not we will have uh, a demand that we will put in the minutes what every country votes for, as uh, demanded by Catalonia. As, is there, again, is there any further discussion on this topic? There seems to not be any speakers on this topic. 
and then we'll go on to the voting. Who votes in favor of demanding that we... Okay, what? Yes. yes. Apparently we have more discussion on the topic, so please lower your voting cards. Uh, not more discussions, but I was requested by the Pirate Party of Brazil to say that they strongly support such proposition as it is in favor of more transparency in the process of voting. Saying which country votes for what would be more transparent, and that's very important in the voting process. That's what the Brazilian pirates asked me to say. Can I please again ask... Thank you. Engels, yeah. Can I please again ask that when people speak in the microphone, do not speak, because this is much, much harder to understand what they are saying. It happens every time now. I might ask to remind that we have the standing rules of procedures that have been passed by the past to Jay, and it had said that, that if there is a procedural motion and nobody is objecting it and speaks against it, it automatically stands accepted. So we don't need any further discussion. So if it was a procedural motion from Catalonia and nobody objected, it's automatically accepted. Thank you. Can again everyone be quiet when we are not speaking in a microphone? Thank you, Engels. <clears throat> so the question is rather, is there any, anyone objecting to this motion? And we will have the 30 second delay for the stream. And no one is objecting, so therefore the motion passes. Um, the tabulators will now write down which country votes for what in every motion, in every, um, in every, in every vote. We will then go on for MOP two again, as soon as the second tabulator returns. And now we will finally vote on MOP2 uh, uh, by Pirate Party Netherlands concerning uh, solely temporary decisions to be reaffirmed. And I will please ask everyone voting that ho to hold up your voting cards until I say stop. Now it will take a lot longer time since we have to write down exactly who votes for what as well. Everyone in favor of MOP2, please raise your voting cards. Can we please have a bit of seriousness and just... Raise it not. And raise it clearly. Thank you. Everyone opposed to motion MOP2, please raise your voting cards.
Thank you. Please lower your voting cards. Those abstaining, please raise your voting card. Those abstaining, please raise your voting card. We have some results for MOP2, um, two in favor, 10 against, against and 6.5 uh, abstaining. Um, at this point we might uh, remark on the fact that uh, Catalonia has half a vote according to the statutes because they share the nation with one another. Thus, yes. thus the motion falls. Then we move on to MOP3A, which is called Extraordinary GA Within Six Months, as soon as the screen works. Will someone please present this again? Please be quiet. <laughs> Well, this motion actually kind of depended on the, the previous one. It's uh, quite simple. The previous one asked to reform decisions on the next GA. The, these two motions asked to hold another GA soon, um, either online or uh, offline. Um, I'll ask you guys how you want to vote on it. Maybe you want to vote whether to hold a GA first and then if everybody says no, you don't have to vote on um, uh, whether to do it online or offline or you just uh, I don't know how you want to do it. Um, should be an efficient you, process. So, do you mean to place MOP3A and MOP3B against each other? You could maybe easier first uh, ask, should there be an ex extraordinary uh, GA? And then if the answer is yes, then you can uh, make it online or offline, the question. All right. Thank you. It's maybe simpler. The Thank you. Can everyone in the audience please be quiet? Masha. Oh, Masha. No, you were before. Uh, I was first, but let's first. Please, just yes, someone grab the mic. <laughs> well, um, actually, I added a third option, 3C. So we need to vote on three options. Which is option 3C? Can you elaborate? Yeah, you didn't, so I. I thought, yeah. so, so probably my, my proposal was that we don't decide that in the next four months there will be an online GA, but that we take a long-term decision which says how often do we want to have an online GA, and I propose that we do one a, a year. Uh, can you, Jacob, please elaborate why would we need an extraordinary assembly in six months? Um, I don't quite get yeah. it. Like I said, this uh, was actually an addition to the previous motion because the previous motion called for decisions to be reaffirmed on a new GA. Uh, the idea was then to also hold a G new GA soonish. And the proposal I came with was six months. Um, this can be either online or offline. Um, doesn't matter to me. But uh, So there's three proposals. I believe also one proposal to do one online GA every year in addition to the uh, offline GA like this one. So, how do you want to proceed to the voting structure? Yes. 
So I have a question to the previous motion. I think that the previous motion did not pass, right? So then, if that's the case, then we don't. Then, then these motions should be debunked because the, the, if, if MOP two did not uh, was not was not passed, so then uh, there's no reason to to hold an extraordinary GA. Well, people might want to have a GA. So in in, in this sense, the motion can still stand. Uh, for me, actually, I enjoy meeting people. Enjoy. Uh, having these uh, these discussions, um, so I think GAs are good. <laughs> um, I, I believe yesterday we had a really constructive day where a lot of things happened. Uh, so in this sense, you could say another GA is a beautiful day. But um, uh, his proposal is actually different from mine that it does not uh, uh, build upon the previous proposals, uh, which uh, his proposal is saying that to hold an online GA every year in addition to the offline GA. Thank you. So it seems that all motions um, have the basis that we are to have an extraordinary GA within six months. So I believe the best vote would be to, if you disagree, please come up to the stage. His proposal is actually to make it, uh, m maybe not statutory, I don't know exactly, but to make it uh, a process where every year there will be also an online GA in, a, in addition to the offline physical GA. That's uh, his proposal. So it works together, but uh, it doesn't uh, mean within six months per se. For I, this proposal. I would deem that to be a motion that has nothing to do with this motion, and that it does not should be part of this, and it should have been one of the motions to be sent in prior, and it will not be handled here. Mine? Yeah. You mean mine? Mine is a counter proposal, in fact. Yes, but does it influence this motion? Because it can still be part of it. The, what you suggest is a statutory change yeah, that's true, to affect all future GAs, not just this one. Well, this one is to this That's one. true. So actually, actually, I just propose that we don't say there really could be an online chain within four months, but that we take the decision in a long-term view. Um, if we can handle it as an MOP4, for example, that's also right for me. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. So I would suggest you submit it as a separate motion after this vote, because it doesn't affect this vote. I don't Both. object. It's OK for me. Great. Perfect. Yes. Um, I just wanted to tell you that we have a pet online now. It's a copy of the for, the for the minutes. I try to copy it as often as possible, but I want to keep a local original copy to make sure um, that if the internet crashes, I still can continue with the minutes. If I only write on the pad, I can't do that. I hope that is okay. Um, it's at uh, ppi slash piratenpad.de No, ppi dot pir uh, piratenpad.de slash um, Give me a second. Yes, okay. Um, can, can, you, can you move the picture? Okay, so the minutes you can find now at ppi.piratenpad.de slash GA14 GA14 minutes. I also tweeted it. My Twitter nick is at Darth Squick. Hmm? Um, yeah, there you have it. And I tweeted it. Like, if somebody c could email it to PP leaders, that would be easier because I'm also keeping the minutes and it's hard to do both things at the same time. But if you follow me on Twitter, and a few of you do, I know that, uh, you should be able to find it. Also, if you look under the hashtag PPINT, um, you'll find it there in Twitter. Thank you. Yes, but uh, let, me, let, me, let me add something um, to save bandwidth. We shouldn't all open the pad here. So we should give the link to those people that are not here in the room so that they know what's going on here, that they have the minutes on their screen. But uh, if everybody opens the pad from inside, then I think it is a problem with the bandwidth. Yes. Please don't use the bandwidth to anything that you absolutely don't need. Don't use Facebook. Don't use Twitter unless you absolutely have to for some reason. Uh, only use it for the online delegation because we have a very scarce uh, bandwidth. Um, all the proxies, please send this link to your uh, online delegates so they have it. Yes. 
Because GA3 has a port. Or GA4. 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 Or GA4. Or GA4. Or GA4. GA4. Capital GA? Yeah, it's capital. Um, it's capital. Um, capital GA and capital M of minutes. So, capital G, capital A, one four, capital M, and then I N U T E S. And it's normal that the it's asking for either that group 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 there's people in it, so um, it should be able to say that people get in, in that or something. And there's a lot of unnamed people, so it should be. And now it is up on the screen, and then we can go on to discuss this motion. As I understand it, there are now these two counter motions, MOP3A and MOP3B, where MOP3A uh, MOP wants to have a regular, ex uh, an extraordinary GA within six months, and MOP3B wants to have an online GA within four months. There is also another motion, uh, MOP4, uh, which deals with uh, online GA every year, which is to be dealt with after this vote, so it doesn't affect this vote whatsoever. One can fall and the other can uh, be accepted. Do we have any further discussion on, that discussions on, on uh, MOP3? In that case, we will go on to the voting. Um, we will have 3A against 3B, and then after... Yes? I would propose we vote on having an extraordinary GA, and then if the answer is yes, then to vote on whether to do it online or offline. It might make the process more efficient. That is one way to do it. Let's do that. It's fun. <laughs> Let's first have a vote on whether to have an extraordinary GA and then to go on to discuss whether it should be a regular or an online. So if the first, so if the first uh, vote falls, we will have the further votes on the subject. Um, we have changed up how to do the voting since we had some change rules of the procedure. And thus we will simply, can everyone please be quiet? Can everyone please be quiet? Thank you. We will, instead of our previous system, we will simply call out the names uh, of all the parties. They will have the chance to say yes, no, or abstain, because that will be much simpler for our tabulators. Um, so please listen up and uh, be ready when your name comes up. Australia. Remote delegates, please cast your vote now. Oh, no, they should cut. You should cast it to your proxy if you haven't done it. Drone. Fear drone. Sorry. And we will have a short delay in wait of that. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. So, <coughs> shall we start the vote? Okay. Australia, and then you say yes, no, or abstain. Wait. Please be quiet. Austria. It's not here, sorry. Belarus. Belgium. No. Brazil. Okay. Catalonia. Yes. Half. Croatia. Uh, yes. Estonia. Uh, stay. France. France? Yes. Was that a vote or just acknowledging that we said France? 
was yes to work from France. Correct, thanks. Germany. No. Greece. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Italy. No. Japan. No. No. Kazakhstan. No. No. Netherlands. Yes. Poland. Yes. Please, can everyone be quiet? Because we're trying to hear who says yes or no, and then it's kind of problematic if other people says it too. Yes. Uh, Romania. Could we, could we stick to a clear yes, no, abstain? Because I know it's fun and all, but it's a bit complicated <laughs> because it might be a bit more confusing. Thank you. No. <laughs> uh, Russia. No. Slovenia. Abstain. Slovenia. Abstain. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Switzerland. It's almost the same country. No. Switzerland. No. Tunisia. No. Turkey. Abstain. UK. No. Thank you. And the results are six point five positive. Yeah. Six six point five four nine against six abstaining and the motion falls. We will not have an extraordinary GA. Then we go on to <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> as these these motions these motions have, have now all fallen and will does not affect this current GA. Um, we had in the agenda to move the, sec the other motions further on into the program as they do not uh, affect this specific GA. And so we will also take care of the additional MOP4 uh, when that comes. Yep. So now we move on to admittance of new PPI members. And we have Two, suggest uh, two, um, two applicants, which is Pirate Party of Norway and Pirate Party of Costa Rica, where Norway has one here who could uh, begin by presenting their application. Just need to. Yeah, hello everyone. Uh, Norway uh, actually uh, decided uh, the last uh, General Assembly uh, to put in the statutes that we are going to be a member of the PPI and that's why we have uh, uh, applied to become a member. So I hope you all agree. Thank you. Thank you, Norway. Um, we have the information from Norway entered into the wiki. Um, are there any further discussions concerning Pirate Party of Norway? Then we will go on directly to the... Sorry? Yeah. Are they applying for ordinary or for uh, They're applying for ordinary membership. We are taking care of Norway right now, and then we will go on to Costa Rica directly after this. Uh, I should also mention that we have a third party that has applied, but did so after the deadline for this meeting, and thus will be taken care of on the next GA, which is the second pirate party of Greece. Yes. Uh, but they sent it in too late, and thus we will not handle it on this GA. And uh, that should be the uh, into the minutes as well. Any further discussion on the pirate party of Norway? Then we will go on directly to the voting. Is it tabulated already? Um, we'll do the same system as we did last time. So I will read the 
countries and you will say yes, no or abstain to uh, entering uh, the Norwegian Pirate Party into uh, Pirate Party International. Australia. Fine. Okay, okay. Shh. Belarus. Yes. Yes. Belgium. Yes. Brazil. Yes. Catalonia. Yes. Croatia. Yes. Czech Republic. Oh, sorry. Estonia. Yes. France. Yes. Germany. Yes. Greece. Yes. Italy. Yes. Japan. Yes. Kazakhstan. Yes. Uh, Netherlands. Please say yes, no, or abstain. Uh, Poland. Yes. Romania. Yes. Russia. Yes. Slovenia. No <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that again. Slovenia. Slovenia. Good. Switzerland. Yes. Tunisia. Yes. Turkey. Abstain. UK. Yes. Great. And we have the results. 19.5. Yeah. 19.5 in favor, zero opposed, and two abstain. And thus, Norway is now part of the PPI. Applause. Thank you very much, everyone. Really appreciate it. And now Norway also has the right to vote. We will go on to the second applicant, which is, if everyone can please be quiet. There will soon be food, not yet, so be quiet for a small while. Pirate Party of Costa Rica. Um, in the wiki, they have not entered all the information required. Um, they have sent in their application before deadline, but um, has not delivered any additional details yet. Now, opens, uh, is there anyone here to represent Costa Rica? Then we start the discussion on Costa Rica. Angles? Well, during the last year, I have been like um, on seven occasions in contact with the Pirate Party of Costa Rica, uh, mainly over phone. So they phoned me and phoned me like very consistently, like every two hours until I get <laughs> to the phone. So they are exist and um, they are um, yet in the foundation process, they said, so they're not registered. Uh, they don't have a membership system set up yet. Uh, they are, they have... Uh, consulted me on some statutory questions, so I know they, they write them, but I have not received any final version. Um, and actually for the last two weeks I tried like two or three times to reach them and had no answer whatsoever. Um, this is um, also regarding, um, relating to the um, jet lag, whatever the time zone difference and everything. So they make, um, to me, um, an impression that they are really serious about founding the Pirate Party and um, unfortunately we have not been able to establish the uh, communication to, um, very, to, to the level that they could they present themselves here. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how clear they were, they were, they was about um, the presentation that is, has to follow their application. Thank you. Any further discussion? Yes? Please come up to the stage if you wish to speak. Are they applying for a 
full uh, to be full member, observer member, or full, vote? Member. full member, ordinary member. Any more questions or discussion on Costa Rica? Then we will go on. Sorry. Um, the remote delegate from Brazil estimate that we don't have enough data uh, on the Pirate Party of Costa Rica. Yeah. That's very obvious, but we have to state it anyway. Thank you. Any more discussion on Costa Rica? Then we shall go on to the voting. <laughs> then, um, I have so to. now... Um, I have something. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so if we think that there is not enough data there, probably we should not re reject them, but uh, decide that we decide on the next GA. <coughs> <coughs> it's the same. <coughs> no, it's not the same. To say no, we say don't come to PPI. If we remove it, we say, well, you, can, you are welcome if you provide more information. So please probably the be message is better then. So it's a motion, yeah. Engels, please be quiet. Hmm? Again, Engels, please be quiet. If you wish to speak, please go up to the podium. Oh, well, there is no podium, but there is a microphone. Um, I suggest you, in that case, um, suggest a further motion that we will do that. Yeah, so the question is whether we move this application to the next GA, which can be online or offline. So, if I understand you correctly, there is another motion that stands counter to this, which is that we do not uh, accept or reject them now, but we do take... Um, push the decision until the next GA, correct? Yep. Okay, so then we will first vote on whether we will discuss, uh, we will um, vote on Costa Rica on this meeting or not. If we decide that we will, we will then go on to actually do that voting. So, the motion is that we will not take care of Pirate Party of Costa Rica on this meeting, but will rather push it until the next GA. And uh, um, for the drones, this is the time for you to check with your um, online delegates. And we will start in 30 seconds. All right. Is there any country that opposes this procedural motion? Yeah. All right. Then we will go on to a vote. Yes. Australia. Yes. There is a question. Uh, yes, you're welcome. Just go to the microphone. <coughs> Hi, Daniele Monterone, PPET. Um, I just want to say that uh, if we have to vote, to decide to vote to the next GA, when we can anyway vote to the next GA, is a nonsense vote. So, we don't need... That's already passed. That's not a discussion anymore. We are now discussing whether we should... We are now casting a vote whether they should be accepted or not. Now you are asking if the vote... Can everyone please be quiet as not speaking into a microphone? Do you have anything to say more? Okay. Yes, we have a procedural motion that was objected and therefore it doesn't pass immediately. Oh, yes, we have to vote. But we still have to vote on it now. Uh, the thing that we did now was to check if anyone was opposed. 
if there had not been a single uh, party opposed to the motion, it would pass immediately without any votes. Now that some uh, two parties were opposed to the motion, we will have a regular vote upon it. <laughs> okay, and the vote will start now. Uh, Australia. Australia. Anders. Okay. Wait. Yes. Yes is to say we will delay uh, the decision on Costa Rica until the next GA. No is to say no, we will take care of it today. Abstain is to abstain. Great. Belarus. Abstain. Belgium. Yes. Brazil. Yes. Catalonia. Yes. Croatia. No. Estonia. Yes. France, yes. Germany, no. Greece, yes. Italy, Abstain. Japan, no. Kazakhstan, yes. Netherlands, yes. Poland, yes. Romania, yes. Russia, yes. Slovenia, no. Switzerland, yes. Tunisia, yes. Turkey. Abstain. UK. Abstain. And we have the decisions that 12. I'm sorry, Norway as well, of course. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I need to correct the Kazakhstan to no. Okay, we have a correction of Kazakhstan to no. Uh, we have a Does this affect this vote or the next one? No, the streaming. Yes, can we, because then we can just read the results and finish this one and then we can go on to that. Yeah. We have 12.5 in favor, 5 opposed and 5 abstaining. And so it has been decided that we will decide on Costa Rica on the next GA. Okay, we have problems with streaming, which is being fixed. So we hold the GA for now. We hold the GA until the stream is working again. Um, what is the status of the lunch organizers from the GA? Okay. In a few minutes, so it's not here yet. So we can't start with the lunch break yet. Okay. Uh, I have reports that the streaming is working. Is that true for all? Yes. Okay, great, because then we can go on until the lunch comes. We are done with all the... Can everyone please be quiet? We, have, we are now done with all the applicants for new members. I've decided to approve Norway and to push Costa Rica until next meeting and that the second pirate party of Greece uh, came on too late with the, um, their application. And so we will move on to reports by PPI officers, starting with reports by the board members, which are now available to present. So, welcome. So, my name is Gregory Engels. I'm co-chairman of the Pirate Party International. I apologize of not having sending in, been able to send in the report in written form before the conference or before this minute. I will uh, do it later on the day because I had to lead yesterday the open space conference unplanned, so uh, apologies for that. Um, so the past year for PPI was uh, a mixed feeling year. Um, one, we had to be able to um, f in introduce a lot of new uh, projects and a lot of new developments like uh, we have um, installed the um, permanent e-democracy system which is in place for the last one and a half months, uh, where we can use now for offloading the GA with like status amendments and every, every possible motions that can be put into it. Um, we had been uh, very successful actually in um, fulfilling the um, MOP4 from the last uh, GA, which was given us the task to get in communication as an observer membership with the WIPO. Um, this is, have, was not be able to fulfill since the WIPO declined our 
application, but we've still been there and have been um, met a lot of people and actually given enough of tips of how to proceed, and so we will reapply again, uh, or the next board will reapply again in May um, for the WIPO observer memberships, and we'll communicate before that with national delegations of, especially of developing countries like Brazil and India, uh, who have a interest of having some kind of a counterforce to the industrialized uh, countries uh, lobbied heavily by the Hollywood media, uh, like America and Belgium, France, whatever. So we have uh, good communications there and building up a network um, together with uh, our partners, um, with the civil society coalition that allowed us to actually participate in the Viper meetings. Um, so that, another international meeting that we have been to, which have been very successful, uh, was the meeting of the United Nations um, Parliamentary Assembly campaign. It's a, an international organization, consists of about 5,000 members of parliaments, including the European Parliament, national parliaments, uh, the former uh, UN uh, President Boutros Boutros Ghali. And, um, they come to us because of the Kazan Declaration uh, on Global Democracy, where we are also calling for installment of a global parliament elected directly by world citizens as a consultative body to the United Nations. And um, this is false in scope of that what they're doing. They invited me. I've been there in August in Brussels in a meeting and uh, had a presentation about this declaration about the pirate parties and about how about some liquid democracy um, and the new form of participation and said why it is important that this um, parliament should be directly elected by world's people and um, as a result in the final declaration of the UNPA campaign for this last meeting which is updated every five years they calling actually the United Nations to look into installment of new e uh, electronic participation systems like liquid democracy uh, for this new um, to be done some point in time, a United Nations Parliamentary Assembly. So this is a pirate idea spreading directly through our participation. Um, another one, been, we've been to the um, WTO meeting in Bali, where we also networked heavily with a, a lot of NGOs and uh, participated in the process. Um, I have been appearing in the official WTO video that they put after the event about Bali and had there like 40 seconds um, talk actually, uh, quoting about how imp it's important um, to also um, to to reform the TRIPS agreement uh, to include open uh, licenses into it as a mandatory re regulation, so that would allow like open access, publication, everything. So we have because we have published a, a positional paper um, to the WTO that was distributed to all the delegations and was published on the WTO website. So concerning that, we have gained a stand in the international field and um, are working on promoting and spreading the pirate ideas throughout the world. Uh, on the downside, and we also have like, extended our IT, we have um, installed some um, cloud server for the liquid democracy, uh, for the e-democracy e e system. Um, we have installed a CRM system for what we're using for um, the press relations database and also for the membership database. Um, on the other hand, we had struggled to get support actually to, we asked several occasions people who would um, go to meetings, um, to Geneva for the um, different committees meeting on the UN. And we weren't able to actually find any volunteers to doing that. Um, also, we had the trouble to finding um, transparency, um, person, uh, the person accounting, account, accountable for the, uh, uh, for the European Council uh, transparency register. Um, we had one, but actually uh, this collaboration have ceased to, um, to be at some point, so we have no communication. So, and also, like we tried to incorporate uh, more communication between our members uh, by installing like the press release exchange uh, meetings every ten days. Uh, but these meetings also been not been attended very well. And even that we have campaigned um, for them personally and asked people to come, um, there was not much exchange here that happening. So this was a little bit, a lot of disappointing. Also disappointing was that some members of the board um, actually almost went out of the communication. Um, my core chairman um, 
from, from the Czech Republic, um, got elected into some board position inside the um, Young Pirates of Europe, and since then basically ceased completely communication whatsoever. So no, not responding to any emails, not being a single time to the board meetings. So this was really disappointing because um, there was actually no reason to, to stop working. Um, it was no, co no open conflict or whatever. And uh, the same little bit happened with our treasurer um, who went out of communication not really, because every time we asked something, he always asked with one liner that he had no time right now because, like, stuck in the gym, whatever. So it, it was possible to reach him, but there was no work done. So we had to live without um, the accounting situation. Uh, this was really disappointing. But um, other than that, um, we, 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 we managed not to fail completely and actually extending um, our footprint in the world. And um, given the lack of any resources we had and any financial resources we had, uh, we managed actually to pull off um, Think Twice conference in Frankfurt, which um, was attended with 70 people and um, had um, 20 talks that um, almost all of them are on uh, YouTube now, or the first day are, and um, that had a um, goal of bridging the pirate parties, the world of academia and NGOs. We had a top class speakers there, um, we had got a lot of attention because of that. We've been asked repeatedly, not if we want to make it again, so but when it will be. And we decided already to try to repeat this Think Twice conference again this year. And we are working right now with the Pirate Party of Turkey, maybe to have it um, the weekend before the IGF in Istanbul, so that more pirates could actually go to the IGF meeting and we would be prepared for that uh, with question and uh, who would have a preparatory meeting just for that. So this is, um, in terms of results, uh, a lot more than we had um, in previous years. And I hope the uh, JA will tolerate that and will allow us to continue with that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any further discussions on the um, on this report? Yes. Sir. <coughs> Please be Gregory? quiet. Gregory, you were unfortunately too fast for us unexperienced minute keepers to write down everything you said. Could you send me an email, like having the yes. just like uh, Stichwort is okay, but. Um, <laughs> Well, I, I, for reference, it would be make sense to actually produce this in a proper written reform report form, and we are absolutely committed to doing that. Um, probably not till the end of today, because I also have to drive home. Uh, but till the end of this week, there will be a written report, and I'm absolutely um, committed that it will be distributed in a written form. Thank you. Any further discussion on this report? All right. Then we will go on to the second report, the final national report, 2013-14. Yes. I'm a, I'm a little bit disappointed not to see all the talks that were presented at the international bodies because I, I read the blog and there is there is like no link to the talk actual talk and I think it's very important if we are pirates then we share all the materials and especially if if this is presented in our name like if someone is representing us we would like to know what was exactly said at the meet, meeting of the international bodies but saying this well I am ver I don't want to take this as very critical, but I would like the next board to uh, to raise the standard in this area. But well, basically, I am very happy that we are present at the international bodies. This is a great achievement. I I would just like to raise a bit this level of uh, transparency in this area. Thank you. Thank you. 
Yeah, thank you. Um, just in addition to it, um, because I, we know of the problems, we've uh, been in contact with the UK last year, and we had intensive discussions, and inside, they've had insight in our interior. So we found a way to go, move forward on the financial issues, on transparency, and we're still in contact with the UK and their treasurer to solve the problems we have on that part. So the next board will have uh, in a way, if, if you agree, uh, a way forward and hopefully the next GA will have a real bank account, real transparency, so let's move on and hopefully it works out. Thank you. Further okay. discussion? So it seems the food is, has arrived, is that true? Yes. Yes, okay. So we will shortly start with the lunch break. I would like, um, in my function... Um, from Catalonia. Yes. Um, can you ask him to expand on the solution, please? Uh, yeah, there was a question from Catalonia. Um, too many details. There were too many details, according to Thomas Gall. Can, can we please quiet down? Uh, we will simply uh, stop for lunch now and then we will continue with this afterwards for further questions as well. Uh, I would like to ask you, if you have not done yet, there is a layout data report published on the wiki. If you could take a look during the break, it will probably speed things up during the discussion. Thank you. How uh, long? They are asking you when... Uh, with, uh, yeah. How, how long the break will take? Yes. Exactly. At thirteen forty-five, we will return. <coughs> half a minute. Half an hour. Thirty-five minutes. Thirteen <laughs> forty-five is the time of the meeting to start again. <laughs> okay. Then we resume the meeting. If everyone could be quiet and sit down. We are still on the questions about the uh, report to board members. Are there any further discussion? Then welcome up to the scene, the stage. It feels like we are done with the reports by board members. And then we'll go on to the economic report. And if I understand it correctly, there is none. It was Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> can, can I have it on the street? Oh, uh, there is one. Okay no, yeah, now it's on. Yeah, it was switched off. I'm sorry. Is it okay if I use the extracted version? Sure. It's the same. It's no matter. It's numbers are the same regardless of presentation method. 
Oh, the extracted version. Okay. So because this is a well, this is a part. Well, we need we still will need the budget in the next step. So, but uh, okay. So this is uh, basically the first column of the budget that we sent around. Um, and in the first budget, we actually included the actual number from the last reporting period, from the last GA till now, um, which is, yeah, okay, thank you, um, which we had in last time, we had in zero membership fees, so the budget was set to zero, but um, um, it doesn't actually stop us to find, to, to spend money and to do stuff. And so we had um, got about 3,400 euros in public subsidies, uh, actually a little bit more. Um, this is uh, for the rent of uh, venues that was subsidized to a non-profit organization by the city of Frankfurt. And also there's a subsidy for this room uh, we are right now from the city of Nantre that uh, we don't just not know what the official price would be for that room that we are not paying. So this is... Uh, was set to zero. Um, we had um, 8,240 euro donations, which um, consists of 500 euro donations from the Pirates Without Borders, and the rest of the uh, money is calculated the spent travel expenses from the board members that were not reimbursed and that were, um, it's um, saying all together we spent 50 days traveling um, to mainly to different countries um, for um, PP, for two PPU events, for the WIPO, two WIPO events, uh, one WTO event, one UNPA event, the Think Twice conference, the, con the Share Republic conference in Rijeka. Um, so it's um, a lot of days, um, actually. And um, we get 600 euro sponsoring for the Think Twice conference um, from, uh, for, um, yeah, well, sponsoring uh, money that uh, we have not paid. Then they had about 100 euro um, from like coffee uh, donations, whatever. Um, so altogether, we um, been we got like 12,000, um, 3, 3, 12, euros, uh, which were mainly uh, the largest part of it donations from the board members. Um, and on the other hand, we had expenditures that been paid for that with an IT uh, cost of 240 euro for the server hosting for the next um, 24 months. Uh, we had, um, actually we have not paid the legal cost that may be something that we need to do for the financial report, um, for the official financial report with the um, Ministry um, of Finance in Belgium. Can you please scroll down? Because I don't have it all by my heart. Yes, um, the last General Assembly um, had a, um, a final uh, result of minus 50 euro. So this uh, in Kazan, that's been paid for by uh, the Russian uh, board members, uh, by Azad. And then we had um, the room to, um, for the Think Twice conference and uh, the uh, cost production cost of it, of which 3,400 3, euro was donated, by, uh, was subsidized by the Frank city of Frankfurt. And um, so altogether, we had. Um, at 12,040 euros expeditions, which is pretty much the same as um, our income, which is basically a logical reason for that, because we had to decide on every um, expenditure to pay in cash, we did, because we don't have any um, financial banking account. Um, the, it says in the end reserve 300 euro, but it is because it does not contain yesterday. Um, the information from yesterday is that we actually about like 220 euros short um, on our planned income uh, for this conference here um, on, membership, uh, on, on, on donations, on uh, pay what you want fees at the door. So basically this is not 300 euros, um, but actually something like deduct 220 from that and you will have like 80 euros that's um, pretty much correspondent to what the number that we have in our cash box. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Yes. Yes, this has been sent to the PP leaders list. I can... It's online on Google Docs. Uh, it's an online document. Um, this is a downloaded ODS version. 
um, we probably can. Is it enough if we include the link to the actual report in the minutes? Yes? Can okay. You, yes. Great. Any further questions? Then, then we will go on to the report by the lay, lay auditors. So, um, I hope that most of you took a short uh, view at the lay auditor report because I'm not going to tell you everything. I will summarizing. Um, in effect, the lay auditor report is based on my insights. It was approved by Sven Clemo, who cannot be here today. Um, the third lay auditor is missing in action. We didn't reach him. Do despite multiple attempts to contact him or his party. Um, but Sven approved of what I wrote. I wrote this at 6 o'clock in the morning, and uh, if there are any typos, please attribute it to that. Um, I wrote to Mark Toll about a month ago, who was uh, intended to be treasurer for the PPI board. Um, he, after three mails, he responded with a one-liner and subsequent mails were not answered, uh, especially asking for uh, fertile financial data. Uh, I was later informed that uh, Mark also was uh, not attending the board meetings uh, shortly after the election, a few months or weeks. And we, I contacted subsequently Gregory about that issue he offered me to take insight into the cash box and the receipts he had. And uh, subsequently, we arranged a review for yesterday. This is why the report has been finished this night. So um, this review does not include the conference in Kazan. The reporting is yet to be due. The details of the review I did was that um, <clears throat> that um, first there is the claim that the GA in Kazan resulted in a minus of about 50 euros. Uh, for the Twink Twice conference, we get, got a result for about plus around 100 euro. Um, for this conference, um, based on expectations, because we are not finished with this conference. Um, we, I, as a lay editor, I assume uh, expenses um, of 200 euro, which uh, add the, added up to the income we currently have, would result in a minus of about 220 euros. Um, so, due to the missing bank account, a cash box was introduced, as said. Um, I counted that cash box with Gregory. And <clears throat> not all of the contents of the cash box were properly yes. noted down. There were obviously donations, which we have to be assuming were donations which were not registered. They were in the height of uh, 48 euros. And um, summing all up based on very crude approach numbers. Um, we, it's, it's likely that, um, <clears throat> that there will be a minus of 120 plus minus 50 euro on the income statement for, two th for the previous period. This was all based on assumptions, based on the review I did with Gregory yesterday. And it is in contrast to the balance, which was, uh, sorry, not the balance, with the numbers which were presented in the budget. Actually, the budget provided some insights previously to the um, <coughs> review yesterday, because the budget does not only include it uh, budget numbers, but also numbers the board assumed um, or had. And furthermore, and way more important, it, in, it included um, a commentary about what happened financially in that year, because this is one of the three main documents besides the income statement and the balance sheet. 
Um, I had subsequently extracted the relevant data because this was not uh, income, this was not the data as I was expecting it as a layer teacher. And uh, to summarize uh, the reception, um, we knew that in the previous year the situation was not very good. There, we didn't have access to the bank account. Neither was the report of the treasurer really in a formal form, which included a balance sheet and an income statement in a table um, view. Um, but this year, the situation appears to be have worsened. First, um, there was an increase of work with international bodies. And this resulted in the fact that because we don't have access to a bank account, and furthermore, even more importantly, we don't have any income from member fees, that the board members who were acting uh, in order to ensure uh, international contacts with WIPO and WTO paid all travel expenses out of their own pockets. They are quite practically donated to PPI. Um, as a layout editor, I have to say that this is not a sustainable solution. If you want to have an international organization, which is international in the sense that everyone can participate from the pirates, then having uh, board members urged to pay the expenses out of their own pockets will not provide you with a board that is internationally representative because people from uh, Gambia will pr probably not have the money to pay that out of their own pockets. And probably, even if you're from Switzerland, you're not that eager to do. And secondly, more importantly from an accounting point of view, the quality <coughs> degraded. In the last year, we uh, missed the cl classic balance sheets. Uh, we had the changes. Um, and there was also not an income statement in a table form. Um, but this year, um, there was not, the, the commentary was uh, mixed up with a budget commentary. And uh, furthermore, the liabilities and the accounts receivable were not immediately available. Um, we, I, we as lay auditors, I and Sven, we do not assume any bad faith uh, by the previously elected board members, but rather a lack of commitment to keep the accounting to a state that should be expected from PPI. Thus, we consider the situation to be bad. We think it has to be improved immediately. And this is why we also suggest six recommendations to the GA. Three of them will be uh, handled as a motion after this report. And uh, the other three are as follows. The GA takes special care in the upcoming board election to put at least one person who explicitly promises continuous dedication until the next GA and has either the skills in accounting or in task delegation to bring the accounting of PPI to a reasonable state. Second, the GA takes special care in the upcoming lay auditor elections to put persons who explicitly promise to fulfill the mandated tasks and have the required skills in accounting. Third, the GA, <coughs> the GA decides on a finance model and a budget for PPI which provide immediate means in order to cover travel expenses in order to continue the current work at WIPO, WTO, and probably other places if feasible. The other three recommendations are subsequently handled as motions. I will just uh, make a short note about them. One is to change the financial year. It is not really a good approach to um, having <coughs> to check um, the st statements on the day of the conference. It, it doesn't make any sense. We should change it to 1st January to 31st of December or something similar. Uh, second, the, the upcoming elected 
treasurer should be mandated to provide quarterly reports on the improvement of the accounting of PPI. That means he has to report to all members what uh, has been done in order to improve the current situation. And the third motion would be that within um, within three weeks after this report has been sent to the members, the layout editors have provi to provide an opinion report to the members as well on that report that assures that someone is made responsible for checking that, and it's not really um, it, it's not really uh, based on yeah, everyone can do it. Yeah. That's that, and I would like to continue with the motions if there are no further questions or remarks. The stream is like on and off at the moment, at least from what I hear in the chat of the pet. Um, we're going to change modems. That means that the stream will, will be interrupted for three minutes. Um, do you want to make a break like soon to do that? Like first, maybe first we do the, the question. Five minutes. Um, do you want to make the break now or do you want to finish the questions and then do the break? Um, I want to ask, um, to me it, make, it sounds sensible that you also match the Can we the please term. take care of this question first and then we go on to the questions? Question yeah? Now discuss whether we should discuss this or whether we should just cut the stream okay. now. But apparently, the apparently the stream isn't working anyway, so we should probably do that uh, to begin with. Like then we should have a break of five minutes now, uh, change the modems, and then we'll be back in five minutes with further questions. And five minutes, no more, so you can sit down. I don't see that as a problem actually, it works very well with one part. It's just a question to what extent you uh, can hold an pressure that probably and that eventually doesn't show up accountable for your account. That's the main problem, but the problem arises either way, either no matter whether he finishes it with 31st of December or any event. Any event. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's difficult because it's great uh, layer of accountability. If you have yeah. a half year, you have one treasurer and he didn't do anything, then you have another uh, half year, you have another treasurer, then you yeah, have to but, finish but, but, but if in doubt, I would say that the treasurer who would be elected this year is responsible for finishing the accounting for this year. And the next one will be responsible for finishing the account for the next year. And if the treasurer from this year is not making, doing real accounting, then the, the younger treasurer has to try to fix that and also report it to, to the members. And until the next GA, the, the GA can at least say uh, all treasurer is an asshole. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the quarterly reports are now a one, way, a one year thing because uh, else it would have written, if it would have required us that mentioned that was the possible act. And uh, furthermore, it was uh, more important to have it this year than the subsequent years. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to quarterly reports, but if they get upset, accepted, no one is holding the GA back to. Make it a step yeah. and it comes out there. Yeah. Well, we can instruct the board to, to make it and then uh, yeah. 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 That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I mean, it's not the uh, best implementation would be to have at least two GAs per year. Because if you have two GAs per year, then you have two GAs per year. Uh, because if you have two GAs per year, then you also have that uh, budget question uh, resolved. Uh, you have a Yeah, in, in, in autumn you approve the budget, and in spring you approve the accounting for the last year. 
and uh, also you, all, you always have overlapping things or you have to approve pre budget or do something like that. Uh, you can use the budget from last year to 25% or something like that. Yes, well, I think yes proposed to hold Online GA every year, this could uh, function as a better GA. So I think that for like group lab GA for this kind of discussion. Yeah, I think for the elections, I think that for the elections, I think that for the elections, I think that for the Resuming the meeting. Uh, yes. <coughs> Can everyone else be quiet? No. I just had the stream was up. <laughs> Apparently, the stream is not up. According to Martich, the Flash version is working. Okay, great. Then we can continue the meeting.
Okay, any further questions to the lay auditors? Yes? Anytime you have questions, just walk up to the stage instead of raising your hand, and it's much faster. Hello. On behalf of Catalonia, uh, we would like to point, out the, the, to, uh, to point out the travel expenses that the board members should not be deciding on their own, um, which meeting they should attend and which meeting they should be funded by the PPI. In any case, the GA should first appoint them to go to a certain meeting in order for them to count these expenses in the budget. Thank you. Any further comments? Yes. If you want to speak after, uh, you can walk up now, so it takes much less time. Yeah, on behalf of PPP, PP UK, I would like to ask whether the work that PP UK has invested in the finance review and uh, reports and everything last year has been included in your review at all. As a matter of fact, I did not include it. I had not. Um, I was only uh, recalling this conference that there was this report, and I'm sorry that I did not include it. If there is any opposition to the propositions that were made, I would be happy if you would voice them. Thank you. Any further comments? There seems to be no further discussion or comments concerning the lay auditing. Uh, can we then go on to the next area? And it seems like we have no objections, so therefore we go on to um, the reports by the Court of Arbitration. And that starts with MOP 5, which is... It's in the wrong code. That should be, uh, that should be a motion which is attached to the layout of this report. Okay, so now we go on to MOP5, which is part of the layout of the report. <coughs> Do we have anyone here to present it? Sorry? So MOP5 is the suggestion of the lay auditors uh, of changing the financial year to 1st of January to 31st of December. There it is on the screen. Uh, the first one at first changed the final to year to 1st January to 31st December. Any questions on that? It's a motion to mandate the board. It's not a statute change. Um, because in the statutes there is no regulation at all. In theory it would be good to have a statute change, but that is not possible according to the statutes itself. Thank you. Any, any questions? Then can we go on to voting on MOP5? MOP5 is the first one on the screen, uh, change the financial year, and that is the one we have to vote on now. And we vote, vote in the same fashion as we did last time, so I will read the names and you will then answer yes, no, or abstain. Australia. 
Belarus. Last Last Can everyone else please be quiet? Can everyone else please be quiet? Thank you. Belgium. Brazil. Last day. Catalonia. Croatia, uh, Estonia, I have not done it. Okay. France, Germany, uh, yes. yes, Greece, yes. Italy, yes. Japan, yes. Kazakhstan. Netherlands, yes. Poland, yes. Romania, Spain. Russia, yes, and I also got the vote for Estonia, which is also in favor. Noted. Slovenia, <coughs> Switzerland, yes. Tunisia, yes. Turkey, yes. UK. Norway. Yes. Catalonia is yes. Catalonia is yes. Uh, Kazakhstan? Kazakhstan is ready. Still no answer. Then we will. Well, not much to do. Okay, then we'll go on. <coughs> And the results are 13.5 in favor, zero against, and nine abstentions, and the motion passes. Then we go on to MOP 6, quarterly report about accounting improvement progress. Um, do you have anyone to present it? As said, the motion aims that the treasurer has to report to all the members about the improvements every quarter on the accounting. So it's an obligation of the newly elected treasurer. Thank you. Any questions? Then we go on to the voting if there are no questions in 30 seconds. We go on to the voting on MOP6. Australia. Uh, <laughs> Belarus. Abstain. Belgium. Yes. Brazil. Abstain. Catalonia. Yes. Croatia. Yes. Estonia. France, yes. Germany, yes. Greece, yes. Italy, yes. Japan, no. Kazakhstan, uh, no yes. <laughs> Netherlands, yes. Poland, yes. Romania, yes. Russia, yes. Slovenia, yes. Switzerland, yes. Tunisia, Turkey? Yes. UK? Yes. Norway? Yes. Kazakhstan? No answer. Estonia? No answer yet. Okay. Okay, and the results are 17.5 in favor, zero against, four abstentions. <laughs> and the motion passes. Then we go on to MOP6A. As the previous motion passed, we suggest that the lay auditors are mandated and held accountable that they review 
the report, which is to be due quarterly by the treasurer, and report on their review so that uh, it is uh, guaranteed that that uh, report by the treasurer is duly expected by people who are responsible for that. Thank you. Any questions? Then we will wait 30 seconds and go on to do uh, voting. Okay, then we go on to the voting. Uh, we should note that Portugal has sent in a request to be able to vote by having sent in the uh, voting in beforehand instead of using a drone. And so we will enter these results uh, as, we as we vote. They will already have them in front of us. And I will announce what they vote for. Now we vote on MOP 6A, quarterly lay auditor review of accounting improvement progress reports. Australia. Stay. Belarus. Stay. Belgium. Yes. Brazil. Yes. Catalonia. Yes. Croatia. Uh, yes. Estonia. Okay. Um, Estonia. Oh, yes. Whoa. <laughs> France. <laughs> Germany, yes. Greece, yes. Italy, yes. Japan, yes. Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan have technical difficulties in following the stream, so they don't know. Okay. But they are not voting this time. Have they said that they are wish not to vote for this time? They have, they don't see the stream. Okay, we will finish this voting and take it afterwards. Um, Netherlands. Yes. Poland. Romania. Yes. Russia. Yes. Slovenia. Yes. Switzerland. Switzerland. Yes. <laughs> Tunisia. Yes. Turkey. Yes. UK. Yes. Norway. Yes. And Portugal uh, wishes to abstain. Um, is the problem of Kazakhstan that they experience that we have suffered any technical difficulties, or is it technical difficulties on their part? Is it due to their own internet connection or is it due to our? Is there, there something wrong with the stream overall? It doesn't seem wrong with the stream in Norway as well. Okay. So they can't see the flash version because they have a computer, so uh, oh. it's on. And I asked the stream should be up and actually should be okay. Uh, we have a look into it. Okay, so we'll wait and see if we get a result from Kazakhstan as well but they can't change the results anyway. Uh, there are 19.5 votes in favor, uh, zero opposed, and three abstentions. There might come another one from Kazakhstan if it clears up. Um, but it has passed. Um. Is anyone looking at the stream? to make, see if it works. Um, yes. I know that my colleague from Brazil says it's totally okay. I think Are there any reports? It's working, and the master network is not working, I think that's the problem. Okay. Do they have access to a computer except for Linux? I don't think so. Okay. Because they're pirates. <laughs> Is anyone working on making sure the non-flash version starts working? Do we have any status on that?
Yeah. So like he's working on it, and that's all we can do. Um, Gregory, is it possible for you to um, chat with Kazakhstan yes. to a degree that they can follow and cast yeah. their votes? Yeah. And then we, is that okay with everybody if you continue like this? Is it okay for Kazakhstan? <laughs> The only question is whether it's okay with Kazakhstan if they accept that they will not be able to follow the stream but can still for gain for now, yeah, sure. Uh, then we can continue the GA. According to our streaming master, the non flash version should be working. The non flash should be working. So we continue with the GA. Okay, the stream is working, uh, and it's okay with that for text only. Excellent. And has they offered a uh, vote for uh, MOP6A? <coughs> yes, but do they offer a vote? No. Okay. Yes, but since we are writing down what parties vote for what, it might be relevant for them to be able to show the members what they vote for. So therefore it is important that we ask them. If they wish not to vote, that is okay, but they have to be aware of that. Okay, until then we can go on to the next item on the, on the agenda, budget and PPI affiliation fee 2014-15, um, with one suggested motion, MOP4, lower membership fees for smaller parties. Do we have anyone to present this? Yes, Estonia motion. Our first motion, we call that today. Start with the whole stuff. Well, okay, we start with the whole stuff. Uh, for the budgetary proposal, uh, it's been went on Twitter like 10 minutes ago over PPI account, and um, it's uh, so the link is uh, in there. Um, so last, so there is a recommendation that we actually introduce a membership fees a contribution to PPI budget, and last year we had a proposal um, from Switzerland based on GDP per capita, which was um, uh, objected uh, by not being just to some countries like Luxembourg and Switzerland and Catalonia uh, that would not take into account um, like some countries have very few population but large GDP. And um, <clears throat> so we created a new proposal based on the United Nations uh, a human Development Index, which does not take the GDP into account, but rather the gross uh, purchasing, uh, national income um, and purchasing power. So basically, it's, and also education system and um, the life expectancy at birth, trying to distinguish between developed countries and uh, less developed countries, like so-called like third world or whatever. So. <coughs> Its uh, index range from zero to one, and we propose to take this as a basic calculation uh, for a base fee, um, having 500 times the uh, HDI of the country, which is published every year. Um, so this would mean that the maximum amount of base fee a country could ever get would be 500 euro, um, if they would have a HDI of one, which never have been to have before, so it's usually like we realistically up to 450 euro. Norway is the country with the highest HDI in the world, followed by Iceland. Um, Germany is top five, and um, the from uh, Monaco, uh, for, for Morocco, I'm sorry, that translates to, to a fee, base fee of 35 euro, and then. This is just the base fee. The idea was to have more successful parties um, to actually contribute more to the PPI budget than the people who are just starting and are struggling with the 
our own pro problems. Um, so for that we adopted the basically the same distribution that it was proposed last year of having for every elected national representatives like for the national parliament or EU parliament um, having it times two I guess um, don't it says there in the text and uh, for the regional um, representative a fifth of a base fee and for the uh, local representative a tenth of that. So for example for Germany for every local representative it's additional 30 euro that uh, Germany would have to pay into the PPI budget. Um, currently the numbers are in the right column meaning like the Germany would pay for 41 percent of proposed budget um, of all membership fees and the numbers are ranging between like 39 euro for Morocco and for Norway it's almost um, 450 and um, for people who have elected representatives it is slightly less Germany and Iceland would pay significantly more than that and um, so this is the basic proposal it doesn't the HDI is neutral um, towards the size of a country so it's not something like big or small countries have any advantage or disadvantages so it's um, it's completely neutral to population um, and it's just says like civilized countries with a large uh, level of uh, human development of education uh, good life expectancy and also good purchasing power um, will have to have be able to easier to afford uh, the paying the membership fees, so this is the idea. So it, everybody, every country should be treated on some neutral level that is set up by the United Nations Development Program. So this was the main motion. Uh, the total sum of that would be, um, in theory, 19,000 euros. But we actually do not expect every country to pay it this year, so we are calculated in the budget with 18,000 of that because we know like some parties we have no communications for a long time and we actually doubt that that will be resolved in the next year so we parties like Bulgaria um, that have um, well a long history of not communicating I, I doubt that they will pay anything even if we will pass it um, which would not be that much a problem um, there is always a way for any member to refrain from paying the PPI membership fees it's in the regulated in the statutes um, for the price of refraining from the voting power for the next year or um, there could be submitted a motion uh, for a special treatment like waiving of membership fees for the next two years for example because the party is uh, yet in the foundation process and is very small and doesn't have the resources to pay even for that small few so this is the main motion and um, should we ask a question before that, before we come to the uh, procedural, to, to the motion from Estonia to change it? Because there's two motions, so this is the main motion. Should we accept questions to that, or should I introduce the Estonian motion first? Yeah, please introduce the Estonian motion first. It explains probably some concerns, yeah. then we can have a general discussion. Okay. So the Estonia Pirate Party um, would have to pay in that proposals 192 euros because Estonia considered to be a quite developed country. Um, the Estonian Pirate Party only have 54 members as of it now and it's growing steadily. Last year it was 44 members but now it's for 54 members. So um, and this is officially registered and now on the, on the website uh, of, its, uh, of their um, party. So basically they would pay a significant amount per person um, money that they would not have that easily. So instead of um, requesting a waiving a fee, they, pro pro um, they propose um, to modify this calculation by amending uh, the calculation as follows, that for the countries, for the pirate parties with less than 500 members, the base fee should be calculated as the number of members um, times HDI. So may, meaningly that if they only have 50 members, 54 members, it would translate to 45 euros or about like um, 
whatever HDI there is, that's 87, 0 0.87 for Estonia, that means that would pay 87 cent per member. So this would take into account the difference uh, in membership size, that some countries are, parties are very, very small, and actually paying even the H basic AD HDI would be a burden, a burden for them to participate in the PPI activities. Thank you. Do we have any questions? Welcome up. Actually, it's not a question, it's a statement from uh, Slovenian pirates, uh, I will quote their delegate. Uh, he says, we think there should be no membership fee. So maybe we could enter that as a counter proposal or something like that. If this motion falls and no other motions are suggested, there will be no membership fee. Any more questions or discussion points? Yes. Welcome up. If you, if you want to speak after Justice, please come up now and stand behind. I just want to um, try to explain that there are like two positions here. The one position is that we need a budget and we need ma membership fees to, to get that budget. The other position is that it should be free to be uh, not only an observer member but a normal member, ordinary member of PPI. <laughs> Um, I would just want to say that um, uh, the, 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 whether we accept the one thing or the other will have huge implications on PPI. The one thing is necessary. Jens and Engels, please stop talking now. Yes, you are. Um, it would be f in order now to continue um, pushing the pirate agenda at uh, global institutions like WIPO. Um, it would be necessary to have a budget and it would be necessary in order to get that budget, like member membership fees are uh, the most likely solution to get a budget. Um, the other option would be to, for PPI not to pursue that any further, maybe for now, maybe for longer, um, and uh, basically just be a place for pirates to have a, a GAs, like for, to meet and talk and um, try to formalize the bonds that we have. I just want you to think about that. Thank you. Two questions. When exactly will this fee system uh, take effect? Um, and would it be possible in this fee uh, system to also introduce something like a limit, like to base the, the costs on this, but say a percentage of the income of the, a pirate party as a maximum? Um, so uh, you, you, you are free to file motions to modify this proposal. Um, so you, I understand correctly, you want to propose that a single party would be not amounted for a maximum percentage of budget or that the membership fee would be a maximum amount of the party's budget? Uh, to use this structure as, um, as a basis, but to also say no more than X percent of the income of a pirate party. So if a pirate party would pay a lot according to this system and has a lot of members but has really small income not to have to, uh, to pay more than X percent of that income where X maybe should be debated. Okay, may, may I answer to that? I don't think that will be a problem because this uh, membership number only concerns small parties, less than 500 people, and for the larger parties it would be basically fixed as soon as long as they don't have any election um, successes. If they have election successes, that usually somehow is money attached to that. So that would be never be a too large fraction of the party budget. So if the party have to pay a lot of money because they have a lot of mandates uh, in parliaments, it also means they have access to a lot of resources usually. Okay. Could you please clarify uh, what, we, what this is all about now? Because uh, I think there's a motion, MP4, which is to lower the membership fees, but then we have also uh, a plan with all the membership fees by Gregory Engels. So what are we debating now? We are debating both of them. Both, okay, can I, Gregory Engels can did you not please let it me finish speaking? 
we are debating whether we should have this system of HDI or we should have a system with HDI with a, minim with a maximum for the small parties based on how many members they have. Okay, but the, the budget plan from Gregory Engels, the, the draft, uh, is not uh, on the schedule as a motion. It is. Uh, which number is it? It doesn't have a motion number. Hmm? It's a motion of the board for the general budget, so it doesn't have a number. Yeah. So which number does it have? As I said, it does not have a number. It's a oh, okay. It's an agenda item. <coughs> yes, it's an agenda item, much like the election of the board. Um, Gregory, for example, the Dutch Pirate Party, we officially have 1,600 members, but um, due to having to pay over 10k for every election we join in, we always have major issues with money. So it would be uh, nice to introduce uh, maybe some maximums on the amount of uh, income you also have, uh, a percentage of it. I, I have a question, a general question about how formally this would be uh, constructed because for now we, uh, I hear that uh, uh, the board doesn't have access to the to the bank account and then there is this additional complication that actually PPI is not the legal entity. The legal entity is the separate organization which is called PPI headquarters and then so my question is if if eventually uh, the bank account is organized, then will, the, will it be uh, under control of the board or will it be controlled by this separate organization which is uh, uh, PPI headquarters and, well, I don't know who actually is on the board on this separate organization, how it will be organized. Thank you. That is why we have rules against talking with others at the same time as we have the meeting. Should I answer his question? Yes. Okay. So um, the construction of PPI is as follows. PPI um, is constructed on the basis that there has to be a legal person for bank accounts and other legal actions. and. In order to construct that, we do not construct it from members, but uh, from natural persons who are the persons elected by the PPI GA in the board. So the persons who run the PPI HQ and the persons in the board elected by the GA are the same persons. And it's just a legal, um, it's just a legal construction which is quite common in Brussels where the PPI HQ was decided to be funded on. So this is uh, probably an answer to your question because the PPI itself is a, a collective which, is, which has uh, statutes but um, it, has not, it has not a legal stance on its own in, in the sense of uh, an organization. If you wish to speak, please stand in line and then stand up to the stage. Okay, so my question is if it happens automatically when we elect a board here at this General Assembly, then the board will be also automatically the board of uh, PPI headquarters. Does it happen auto automatically? That, that's my question. Yes. It's, it's not automatically, but automatically. We still need steps to do that. We need a GA of the headquarter and it's be, it, several um, legal um, event and we prepared that and this will elect a new board of the PPI HQ but following the proposal of this assembly and following the ballot proposal so actually they have no choice but to elect the people that are proposed so it will be automatically happening. Uh, yeah, why I stand that actually in the line is I wanted to comment on the question uh, by our uh, Dutch friend. Um, I would not make a calculation uh, formula 
which is too complicated. We had this discussion already last year. Uh, in fact, if you have concerns that you are unable to pay the fee, there is the common approach to this, which I know from the students' union. If you cannot pay it, you can still ask the GA to exempt it from, to exempt you from the fee or to lessen it. And uh, even if this might not be, uh, if this not, might not be uh, backed by the current statutes, the point where it takes effect is just the next GA. So if at the next GA it turns out that in order to have a decision made on that, you can still hand in a statute change so it's no problem that the GA can exempt single members from certain uh, payments because it makes no sense to make a complicated formula. You can't not anticipate all the cases that might arise and besides that um, probably you, you, you have now a lot of money and uh, you, but you, you, need, you need it for the next elections and even if you have that much money then you still need to provide a reason and yeah it makes no sense to anticipate too much rather delegate such special cases to a GA. Um, Pirate Party Brazil asked me to uh, say that they are opposed to uh, the principle of a membership fee. They want donations to be fully voluntary. That's I'm just proxying for. Uh, I just want to ask one critical question. Uh, based on membership uh, uh, numbers, then I want to ask who's going to make those membership numbers. If, if it's up to every party, you're obviously bias to make your number low <clears throat> because then you pay less and the second remark I, <clears throat> I want i want to make is that at the moment i do not think i would be able to convince the ga of the belgian pirate party to pay this money to ppi on behalf of catalonia uh, on behalf of catalonia they, they have they have to say two th two things first thing is Membership fee is not a good measure on either how large or how many resources a pirate party has because the membership requirements are different for every party. The, yes. the PPI also should uh, demonstrate how it, can be ac how it can be accountable for its finance and how he, he will um, spend the 19,000 uh, euro. And after that we will talk about the membership uh, fees for every party. And now for the uh, PPI Tunisia, um, our, in our case, um, if you want to be a uh, member, you can be a member without even paying membership fees. So um, basically we have no money. So if you, if you have to pay that, uh, it would be a contribution from, from our members. Um, it's a donation for, from our members to you because um, we do not, um, it's not compulsory for us to, for our members to pay a membership fee to be a part of our party. So basically, um, yep, that, that, that's it. Thank you. Okay, last but not least, the Romanian Pirates. It's strangely that we are discussing about the amount of membership fee when we not decided if we have a membership fee. We are discussing first the Estonian proposal and then maybe something else. Um, our concern is that at this point, PPI has not proven to be a viable organization from administration point of view. There are a lot of good things done, thanks to the boards in the last years, but we did not reach the financial sanity that we might uh, need in order to trust with administering 19,000 euros. So our motion is to propose for today not to have membership fees until <coughs> the board proves that we have a financially sound organization. Thank you. I actually agree with Christian and I would also like to say that for example Fire Party Croatia has around 150 or 200 euros at its account, so it would be next to impossible for us to pay the membership fee. I think that I understand that we need a budget, that we need a solid financial structure, but I do think that it should be on a volunteer base in the form of donation or something like that. 
And add to that another 300 euros we need to pay as a membership fee for PPEU, so it's like 500 euros. Yeah, that's pretty much impossible for us to cover. Thank you. I feel kind of split. Like, on the one hand, I agree to the previous speakers that it is difficult to uh, convince my board because uh, it's difficult to show previous results. On the other hand, I view it as a circular dependency. Um, how can a board show that it has done well if it has no means? And so, where do we go with this? I mean, the PPI does need money, it does need structuring. Uh, we should provide it. What is our solution? Because we need results to convince our boards. Thank you. Uh, I propose that um, the parties that actually don't have the resources may uh, have like uh, five or yeah, exemption. And if we put that in, uh, everyone would be happy. Because uh, it's a lot of parties here that uh, can pay these uh, expenses. Could but, you elaborate on exactly what your motion is? The motion is to give the parties with uh, less resources uh, no fee or a very low fee. And then I'm thinking 10, 20 euros or less. Okay, yes, I think um, today we don't have a paragraph that says that uh, if someone doesn't pay his membership fee, that he's automatically uh, not a member of the PPI. So um, I think that uh, the, the draft for the budget by Gregory is uh, very, very good, and I encourage everybody to vote with this uh, uh, proposal, because um, if we don't have a budget plan, then German Pirate Party cannot give money to the PPI. So uh, this is kind of a chicken and an egg problem, because uh, as long as the PPI doesn't have the money, then you could say like the PPI doesn't handle any money, so they are maybe not able to handle it. Um, then uh, if you don't, if you don't um, have a budget plan, then there will be no budget, okay? So therefore I encourage everybody to vote with this motion, to come up with a budget plan and to, to uh, do the next step to have more uh, financial accountability. Okay, the Pirate Party of Estonia actually proposed to pass the budget and with that additional money that passed uh, to hire an accounting firm to address the concerns that the Pirate Party of UK expressed in their report and also the lay auditors report requested. So if there will be a budget that would actually allow to uh, do a proper professional accounting and use the money for that. This is the proposal what they uh, sent me to tool. Okay, just on behalf of PP UK, um, we wouldn't accept any membership fee um, decision as long as the processes are not in place. So I pre we appreciate that there needs to be a budget in order to sort this out, but it's just one of the steps and probably not the first step that we need to take. So um, I, I agree with your idea, I actually like it, but um, I think we need to sort out the processes and all of the stuff first before we then decide on it. Potentially we could make it a, uh, um, a conditional um, decision so that if all of that is in place then we, we would accept the decision but we wouldn't accept it as it stands now. Thank you. Further discussion? Yeah. Is it possible to ask for a show of hand for like a non-binding, we call it Meinungsbild in German, I don't know. A straw, straw poll, is that okay? Then I propose a straw poll for parties like which party would agree on having a budget if you have the feeling that the accounting is done right. So like that it would be realistic to if the accounting is now done right, um, you would vote in like the, at the next GA or like in, at the next, at second next GA, uh, vote yes to this, to this or a similar budget promo, uh, um, Please don't use proposal. your voting cards as an informal discussion, uh, d um, vote. You can, it's it's a, it confuses. 
stop all the standards voting cards, usually. That's how I know it, but. Okay. The, uh, I w would like to know, this is not binding, so if you like vote now and then change your um, vote later, that would be fine. Which party thinks that they would agree to such a proposal in like one year, maybe, that sometime, if the accounting is cleaned up and you have the feeling that the accounting is done right? <coughs> maybe, one year, two years, you know how long it takes. <laughs> Okay, and uh, what party would not um, vote for membership fees in that case, even in that case? Like which party is really opposed to membership fees? Okay, thank you. Um, because a lot of uh, parties think the fees are too high, but apparently we do uh, think it's a good idea to, over time, actually pay fees. Maybe we could start with a small fee, for example, a tenth of what's proposed now, get things in order on a smaller scale, prove that PPI is working, and then uh, next year uh, make it a larger amount uh, to be able to do more. I would, I would, I would make it a counter-proposal, Can yes. you define your, your counter-proposal with a sum? With a? With a sum, so we can write it down. Um, roughly a tenth of the, the amount now or something. Maybe we can debate it, what, what is acceptable and what not. So you, so you want a tenth of the amount as suggested in... Yeah, I would propose something like that, but maybe we can debate about it and see what the rest is. I would prefer a concrete proposal because we haven't had any in like quite a while and we are stuck in a meta discussion instead of actually okay, make discussing it a, make it a tenth. Make it... Uh, okay. Okay. I think if we, if we we want to postpone it for one year, that would mean that for the next 12 months, nothing would be would, would happen. So we wouldn't have any progress because without any money, uh, we wouldn't we would not even get into accounting. And um, yeah, I think that there would be uh, would not uh, there would uh, yeah sabotage the whole uh, the whole PPI if if there's no budget. Okay, so I strongly encourage everybody to vote with the draft of Gregory and to commit to a budget. Because without a budget, we cannot do our projects. PPI is a sort of a Robin Hood. Take to the rich and give to the poor. Maybe. This is the hope we have. So, um, it's a matter of fact that uh, PPI needs money to guarantee the service and to help the less uh, um, established parties. But uh, I, I think that this calculation has to be immediately corrected with the Estonian motion because otherwise the, uh, I think there is no way to approve it. So the Estonian motion uh, says that these uh, numbers are valid only for higher than 500 members, and uh, the small parties have to correct these numbers with, uh, uh, according they, to their real capacity to, to pay. Anyway, I could suggest also to uh, let the payment uh, as uh, a donation, so who is able to donate the money will, and uh, who is not able for any kind of reason is not obliged. So this can uh, solve the problem of the parties that uh, can have troubles to, uh, to subscribe those uh, fees. So this is my opinion, and uh, anyway, uh, my suggestion. Um, if I understand the Belgian proposal well, then uh, with the next start of the financial year, which actually will be tomorrow, every uh, party should pay 10% of the amount they were should be owed for that financial year. Um, and then because the statutes are not changed yet, they cannot lose any rights anyway if they cannot pay it. So I think this is a motion that has no bad implications. We should do it. I think I can convince my board to pay this small amount. and. 
then the board that will be elected can prove itself in being capable in managing the fina finances. On behalf of Catalonia, um, we don't need, uh, it's an answer to uh, uh, Jens, uh, we don't need to wait a year, we can just organize an online or live extra extraordinary assembly in, in the next month as, as we proposed before. Hmm? Yeah. If we don't decide today, uh, we can postpone it to another assembly. Thank you. There seems to be no further discussion. There was a suggestion here, I think. <clears throat> there are a large number of motions and uh, some... Uh, uh, you can walk up to the stage if you wish to speak. Okay. Uh, there are a number of motions and a number of almost motions which are unclear as they were only stated and not um, definitely motioned. Um, there is a suggestion of not having any fees. So there is a suggestion, as proposed in the original, um, this, uh, original uh, with having it based on the H HDI. There is a proposal from um, Estonia, which excludes uh, smaller parties uh, to have a different system. There is a suggestion where it should be the original proposal, but only a tenth of it. There is a suggestion from Norway that uh, there would be um, for um, parties with an income of less than a thousand euro a year, they would have no fees. Are there any other motions that I have missed? Are there any of these motions that wish to be taken back? <clears throat> so I can count one, two, three. Can you please take up to the stage if you wish to speak? Okay, so can you please stop talking? If you understand correctly, there is the suggestion of having no fees, the suggestion of having uh, according to the HDI, for, uh, the same for everyone, uh, HDI and a tenth of that, uh, the Estonia proposal, uh, that we should have voluntary fees, that we should have no fees for parties with an income of less than a thousand, and otherwise the HDI system. Yes? Yes. Yes. For example, for smaller parties without any elected officials, maybe the membership fee should be like 50 euro cents per member. That would be more reasonable. In our case, it would be around 100 euros membership fee instead of 200. Hmm? Engels, if you wish to speak, please go up to the stage. I don't wish you to speak when you're not at the stage. So your suggestion is to have uh, uh, basically the Estonia... Uh, for, for the parties uh, that don't have uh, elected officials, uh, that the membership fee should be like 50 euro cents per member. In our case, that would mean about 100 euros instead of 200. So. Um, I, I have a question because um, I understand that Croatia actually have two elected representatives in the local parliament, so it wouldn't even apply to that? No. Be no? It's not local so what is it? It's something like a neighborhood council. Yeah, well, that's local level. That's how it's defined. That's, um, it's that's for that. Local yeah, it's, it's local level, yeah. So, so the reasoning is that your proposal would not apply to Croatia, would not help you. Um, so because you have people elected. Okay, so there are now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven suggestions. That there, is n there are no fees. The original one, please stop talking. Engels, Jens, thank you. The, uh, the original HDI, please stop talking. 
Please stop talking. Okay, you're smouthing now. That's funny. <clears throat> the original proposal of the HDI, if, uh, a tenth of the HDI, uh, that there would be voluntary fees, that there would be no fees for parties with under a thousand euros income, uh, the Estonia suggestion, um, and uh, uh, Croatia's suggestion where there would be 50% of the fees for parties without elected officials. Are there any other motions I have missed? Then I suggest we do a voting order where we begin by uh, voting on whether we should have fees and then go on to discuss whether we should have fees in the order of the HDI, whether it should be a tenth of that, or whether it would be voluntary. Then to go on to have whether there should be no fees for parties under 1,000 euros, or the Estonia suggestion, or 50% uh, lower fees for parties without elected officials. Engels wish to speak. Well, they said in the statute that there, are, there should be membership fees, and they are right now set to zero, and if we will not have an agreement, they will stay that way. So we don't need to do a voting to set the membership fee to zero because they already are. So if every motion fails, that will how it will stand. That is true. Uh, so basically we start by voting on whether we should have the original proposal of uh, following the HDI, whether we should have a tenth of that, or whether we should have voluntary fees. And then we go on to see if we should have lower fees for smaller parties, and then we go on to uh, basically agree on that proposal or agree on a zero, uh, agree on um, abolishing that proposal. Well, I didn't hear you mentioning the motion I specifically said to postpone this decision because the fees are in the statute, and I did not say not have fees. I said postpone the decision on having more fees, like every other option until PPI functions as an, as an organization legally registered and having accounts. So that was my motion. So you wish on uh, uh, saying now that we don't take a decision on this until next meeting? Exactly. Okay. No, not until next meeting. Maybe we can make a general assembly online, whatever. But we need first the proof that we have a legal organization functioning according to the law with accounts and everything. So first we should start by deciding whether we should decide this today or not. And then we go on, uh, much in the case of Costa Rica earlier, then we go on to decide whether we should have uh, HDI as original proposal or a tenth of this original uh, or voluntary fees. Um, the voluntary fees, I don't remember who put forth, can everyone please be quiet? I don't remember who put forth the motion of voluntary fees. Italy. Italy. Could Italy specify if they mean voluntary fees, where the fees uh, are of the original proposal or something else? I can't hear you if you don't go to the mic. The motion is, anyways, the system we choose, uh, the fees uh, are uh, voluntary, so uh, are intended as donation and not as fees. So each party can decide if uh, donate all or less or nothing of uh, the amount. Thank you. Um, in that case, we start out by deciding whether we should follow the original proposal according to the HDI, or we should take a tenth of that proposal. Um, the winner of this, this vote then goes on to decide whether we should have no fees for parties with an income under 1,000 euro, uh, or whether we should follow the Estonia decision, uh, the Estonia suggestion with uh, parties under 500 members in a different system, or whether we should have that parties without elected officials pay 50% less, 50 less fees. Then in a final third step, in a, in no, not in a final even, in a third step we go on to discuss whether these should be voluntary as suggested by Italy or not. Then we go on to decide whether we should have these fees or not. Does everyone follow that? Please, I can't hear you if you don't go to the mic.
for the voting. Um, for for the voting, we will uh, follow, follow that exact order. Huh? That is my suggestion. Yes. Yeah, because in the other document you wrote down uh, the first we will vote if we are gonna de de postpone or delay the vote or not. Yes, so, but now that is supposed it's to be gone. the first one. I missed that. Yes, true. Thank you. First, um, we missed out here. Um, first, we d uh, vote on whether to delay this decision or not. True. Thank you. Sorry, I take one moment because uh, I have uh, to leave uh, to take the flight. Uh, I leave the counters uh, the Belarus uh, uh, votes because they already said me in chat. So uh, you can proceed with uh, their votes about uh, all of this. Okay. Thank you. Do we have any further discussions on this uh, order? Then I suggest we finally start voting and start with the first one <coughs> where the motion is that we should um, not, dis um, not vote further now but instead delay the entire decision until the next GA. And now we will... Yes? Okay, so we go. I have an additional motion from Estonia, which is um, if the member amount of an ordinary member is less than 500, they pay a fee of their preferred amount of more than zero euros. Is that replacing their old motion? Is that no, additional? it's an additional one, okay, I guess. Thank you. They didn't say that it would replace it. Sorry? Oh, it's not a new one, it's replacing the original. Okay, this replaces Estonia's original uh, suggestion. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, then we go on to vote on whether we shall delay or not. Can, can you repeat the else? I suggest that we, uh, we first uh, decide on whether we should delay before putting more time into this in case we do delay. Yes, we will repeat everything as we vote if we get to vote that. Okay, then we will. Can everyone please be quiet? Can everyone please be quiet? Thank you. Uh, we will now vote on whether to delay this until the next GA. So yes is to uh, before uh, delaying it. No is no, we're going to take it today. And abstain, abstain. Australia. Belarus abstained according to their card. Belgium. This is the reason why we should not talk while I talk, because I very clearly just now told everyone what we were going to vote upon. We are voting uh, whether we should delay this or not. Yes means yes, we shall de uh, delay it until the next meeting. No means no, we're taking it today. Thank you. Brazil. Yes. Catalonia. Yes. Croatia. Yes. Estonia. No. France. No. Germany. No. <laughs> Greece. Greece. Greece is over there getting um, funny. <laughs> 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 Greece said yes. 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 Italy. No. Sorry. Can everyone else please stop talking? Italy. Can everyone else please stop talking? This is extra important during voting, where I need to only hear one person saying yes or no. Italy. No. Thank you. Japan. Yes. Kazakhstan. No. Netherlands. Uh, now, so, uh, no. No, thank you. Poland. No. Romania. Romania? Yes. I heard several people saying yes now. Please, just one per party. Romania, yes. <laughs> Russia. 
No. Slovenia. Uh, yes. Switzerland. No. Tunisia. Yes. Turkey. Yes. UK. Yes. Norway. No. And that's tight. <laughs> that was tight. That was tight. 9.5 in favor, 12 opposed to abstaining. So we will discuss this today. I suggest we now take a short break because we've been discussing this for so long. Um, you said zero abstention. No, I said two abstention. Oh. Uh, if I said zero, I meant two. I'm oh. I'm sorry, it's my, my fault. Pat! <laughs> okay, so we will vote as much as we can. Can everyone be quiet and sit down? There is no break. Because some people have to leave in half an hour. Yeah, so we will have to do this now, uh, unfortunately. Um, but that's the best. Okay, so then we go on to decide whether we should have um, the original uh, proposal, uh, which is to, uh, the calculation from HDI, or whether we should have only a tenth of that. Um, we're going to do it in a way where yes means, can everyone be quiet and listen so we don't have to repeat this again? Can everyone be quiet and listen so we don't have to repeat this again? We will do a system now where yes means the original proposal, the HDI, I'm sorry. Okay. Just say one tenth or original, it's easier. Let's make sense. It's off. It's off. It's It's off. It's off. Yes. Okay, that, that was confusing. Yes. It, it, it was. Okay, okay, okay. Shh. Okay. Okay, we will, can everyone please be quiet? And this will take a lot less time. We will simply ask every party if they wish HDI or one tenth. And that will be clear with everyone. So I ask every country, they reply either HDI, one tenth, or abstaining. Is that clear with everyone? No, question. Yes. So if the result would be HDI, would there be further motion, uh, voting of further motions? Or it would be like said, accepted the original proposal? No. After that, if everyone is quiet, after we've accepted this either way, can you please be quiet while I speak? If we f after we finish this, either it's HDI or one tenth, then we will go on to discuss if there should be exemptions for the smaller parties, where there are three different proposals. That is the last one of all. <laughs> if we, in the end, accept the, the result of all these motions, then we will have membership fees. If not, if not, we will not have. Is everyone clear with what's happening now? Yes. yes. So, why, so this is a modification of the original proposal. So yeah. if we should, should be, if we accept the fence, so the original proposal will be modified. If no, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that the original proposal <laughs> is accepted, right? Yes. So then we should put it in that wording. Or because it's not HDI or one tenth, so it's one tenth. And if it's not, it's something else. It's maybe anything. Okay. Just as I said at the beginning. No, it's confusing. Yeah, I would put it as the motion was put forward, namely there was an original motion and there was a changing motion. If the changing motion, if you accept it, then you vote yes. And if you think you should, we should stay with the original proposal, then you vote no. Okay. That's correct, we do that. Okay. <coughs> original is no and... Original is yes, is no, sorry. Original is no, one tenth is yes. Because this is whether we should make a change to the original proposal. So if you wish to make this change of only having a tenth of it, you vote yes. If you wish to keep the original proposal intact, you vote no. Questions? Okay. 
<laughs> Any more questions? Okay. Are we ready to go to voting? Great. Then we'll start voting. Australia. Belarus. Also abstain. Belgium. Yes. Brazil. Abstain. Catalonia. Catalonia? I don't know Okay. <laughs> we will come back to Catalonia. Croatia. Abstain. Estonia. No. France. France? No. Germany. No. Greece. I, uh, Italy, Abstain. Japan, yes. Kazakhstan, no. Netherlands, okay. Netherlands. Can everyone else be quiet, please? Yes. Can everyone be quiet, please? So you were too fast. Italy yes. was abstained. Italy, we start over a few yeah, uh, back. Italy abstained. Okay, good. Japan. Yes. Yes. Okay. Kazakhstan. Yes. Okay, good. Good. Um, Netherlands. Yes. Poland. Yes. Romania. Okay. Russia. Yes. What? Sorry. It's hard to know if you're trying to make a joke or if you just have a speech impediment. It's, it's like, it's like <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Slovenia. Okay. Switzerland. No. Tunisia. Yes. Turkey. Yes. UK. Uh, Norway. No. Way. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Yes. Oh, right. Thank you. Thank you. Catalonia is yes. <laughs> and we're just waiting for them to format it here. Is it done? Okay. 8.5 in favor, 7 opposed, 8 abstaining. Uh, probably, wait. Yeah. Yes. So the motion uh, passes. We will have one tenth of the original proposal. What? What? Yes, it passed. Is there any question of whether it passed? Good. Can you? All right. So we have decided so far that we will have a tenth of the original proposal. Now we will go on to the votes on having exemptions for the smaller parties. And here we have three different proposals. We have, um, <coughs> we have the Norway suggestion in which parties... Can everyone please be quiet? Norway? Norway has redrawn that proposal. It makes no sense. Apparently, it makes no sense. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there are two more. Um, there are two more um, uh, proposals. One in which, uh, from Croatia, I believe, in which uh, parties that lack elected officials will pay 50% less uh, fees. And one from uh, Estonia, their updated proposal, in which parties with uh, 500 members or below will choose what membership fee they pay that is more than zero euro. <coughs> Have I missed any proposals? Or is that clear? Are everyone clear what the two proposals are? Okay, then. Uh, is this two separate votes? Wait, wait. What? Uh, because there are 
Yes. Uh, we now decide which of. Yes. Okay. Croatia has withdrawn this, which made it a very big uh, difference, because now it's much easier to vote. Um, so do, yes. So now do, it is Estonia's suggestion, in which uh, parties with, with 500 of you, oh, sorry, 499 of you members will pay what they want. That is more than zero euro. Um, and uh, this is the yes vote, and the no vote is to keep the proposal as is. Yes. I don't think we have a list of those here. I would, please, I would suppose that the future board will have to rely on the on honesty of the parties. So, yes means, can everyone please stop talking? Please? Thank you. Please? Thank you. Yes will mean to accept this proposal of um, a lower membership fee for parties with uh, uh, 499 or fewer members. And no will mean to um, reject this proposal and keep the um, membership fee the same uh, as decided in the last vote, and abstention is still abstention. We will start voting again with Australia. Okay. Belarus. Abstention. Belarus abstention. Belgium. No. Brazil. Abstain. Catalonia. No. Croatia. Yes. Estonia? Yes. France? Yes. Germany? No. Greece? Okay. Italy? Yes. Japan? Yes. Kazakhstan? Uh, yes. Netherlands? Yes. Poland? Okay. Romania? Okay. Russia? Stay. Slovenia? Yes. Switzerland? Uh, stay. Sorry. Tunisia? Yes. Turkey? Yes. <laughs> UK? Stay. Norway? Stay. And Portugal, Portugal abstains. So there are 10 votes in favor, 2.5 opposed, and 11 abstentions. The motion passes, and there will be lower membership fees for smaller parties. No, pay what you want. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> this is just like, we're discussing what we will be, what we will be voting the final ones, right? Like. <coughs> we just voted that we... We just voted that the smaller parties with fair. Yeah, no, okay. Uh, I can the, 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 the uh, you have to walk up, I can't hear you. You wish to? What do you want to retire? You wish to. You wish to withdraw the voluntary fees motion. I can retire the fourth motion because the third is similar, so it passes. So it's no redundancy. Uh, there is a difference in that in the original proposal of the fourth motion, there will be voluntary fees for all parties, if I understand it correctly. Whilst the, uh, what we just passed in the third motion was that it would be voluntary fees for the smaller parties. Yes, there of course, but uh, it's uh, referred, uh, since the, uh, if you take the, the second motion that uh, reduced the fee, and the third that uh, 
is okay. uh, uh, established only for the smaller parties, there is no needing to include another uh, redundancy. Okay, so Italy withdraws the fourth motion, um, which means that we will go directly to. Yes? So, since Italy withdraws the motion, I would like to reintroduce it. <laughs> it suddenly became so simple. Why did you have to change this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Quiet. So, we will now vote on the now Greek proposal of um, having voluntary membership fees or not. Yes will mean to have uh, voluntary membership fees, so everything we have decided so far will become voluntary. Um, no means to keep it as is, so they are mandatory. <clears throat> okay. And we will again start with Australia. I think I have to say yes. You think you have to say yes? Can you verify and we come back to you? Yes. Are you sure that you're sure about the decision? Okay, thank you. Yes. That is correct. Okay. Australia votes yes. Belarus. That's you, right? Yeah. Belarus abstains. Belgium. No. No. Brazil. Yes. Catalonia. Catalonia? Croatia? Say yes or no, please. Yes is voluntary, no is not voluntary. She said no. She said no. Okay. We have to start over there. Uh, because it's unclear when you say voluntary, yes, when uh, voluntary, no, when no means no voluntary and voluntary means voluntary. Croatia. No. Thank you. Croatia was no. Thank you. Estonia? No. France? No. Germany? No. Greece? Nothing. Italy? Yes. Japan? No. Kazakhstan? No. Netherlands? No. Poland? No. Romania? Nothing. Russia? <coughs> Russia? Slovenia. Uh, say yes. Switzerland. No. Tunisia. Yes. Turkey. Yes. UK. Stay. Norway. No. Portugal. Abstain. Volunteer sure the <coughs> They vote no. They have written membership fees, any proposal, no. So they should vote no in any proposal that has to do with membership fees. Okay. And the results are in, and there are 6.5 votes positive and 13 negative for abstentions, which means we will not have voluntary but mandatory membership fees. Yeah. Okay, and now we go on to the a uh, vote that might... No, because this is the decision of what I, uh, the watered-down proposal, which might make a difference depending on what you want or not. So there were voices in the beginning that said they, were in, they might be uh, in favor if the proposed end proposal was good enough. That's why we did this in the end. Now we decide whether we like this proposal that we just voted for, or we would like no membership fees. I, I don't give a point why you have to say no. No. Can everyone please be quiet? We, uh, you get to speak right after me. 
What we have decided so far is that we will, um, if we have membership fees, they should follow this nature. But we have not decided that we should have membership fees. Because some voices in the beginning said that they were interested in membership fees if they followed the uh, correct nature, but not uh, whatsoever. Um, for example, in the beginning there were people who said that if we had membership fees that were in the hundreds of euros, like in the original proposal, they would be opposed to them. But if they were lower, as they are now, when they're only a tenth of that size, they would be in favor. That's why we do it now. Uh, so now we vote, yes means you want membership fees, no means you do not want membership fees. And I believe someone wanted to talk. Because it's wrong. Portugal writes in the chat, um, also votes yes, it, it's voluntary. Since we no, vote no on membership fees like Australia, obviously we vote yes, it's voluntary. Yes to ignore us. Okay, now we vote no to membership fees. Okay, that's, so that's a new vote. So um, they would like to change their vote from the last time, which doesn't change the result, from a, yes, uh, from a no to a yes. Okay, great. So that will not change any results, well, but then we enter it. It's 7.5 Yes. <coughs> so no results have been changed, but the vote was changed. Okay, we will now go on. We will now go on to the vote on whether to have membership fees or not. Are everyone clear on what the trickle-down uh, proposal is, on what the membership fees will be? Any confusions whether what we are going to vote about? <coughs> Sorry? Now we are going to vote on whether not to have membership fees at all. So we have a proposal on what the membership fees will... Can you please... We, will ha we have a proposal on how the membership fees will look if we decide to have them. In that case, they will follow the original proposal of the HDI, Jens. They will follow the... the they will follow the original proposal and be a tenth of that, and uh, parties with um, less than 500 right members. parties with less than 500 members will pay what they want. Everyone else should pay a certain percentage. I don't remember exactly how it was of the HDI times something. It's in the proposal, and a tenth of that, um, and the fees should not be voluntary. And, uh including the fees for represent representatives that were elected for a party on regional, national level, not? No? 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 Oh. That's in the original proposal, yes. Yeah. Yes. The original proposal, a tenth of that, and voluntary for, um, or pay as you want for parties with fewer than 500 members. And now we should decide whether to have this or not. Those in favor answer yes, those opposed to having membership fees answer no, others abstain. We start with Australia. No. <coughs> Belarus abstains. Belarus abstains. Belgium. No. Brazil. No. Catalonia. No. Croatia. Uh, no. Estonia. Yes. France. Yes. Germany. Yes. Greece, Upstate. Italy, yes. Japan, yes. Kazakhstan, yes. Netherlands, yes. Poland, yes. Romania, no. Russia, yes. Slovenia, no. Switzerland, yes. Tunisia, no. Turkey, yes. U uh, sorry. UK, no. Norway, yes. Portugal, Portugal is according to this was negative. Portugal, no. And the votes are in, and there are 12 positive, 9.5 negative, 2 abstaining. We will have membership fees. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and then we're finally done with this point and the agenda. Yeah. If I understand it correctly, the people will be leaving in eight minutes, but I don't think we exactly have any uh, possibilities of starting another discussion in that time, so maybe we should have the break now. Yeah. Yeah.
and the smokers seem to think that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so then we have a break now, and we will be back at uh, 1600. It's 1546 now. sooner because we have the statute amendments. I think they were put forward by the Nuno and they are the board and the COA and if they are uh, accepted then the elections come oh, yes, we'll change. quite different to our superfluous. There will be the board of representatives. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we'll see. Congratulations. Okay. Okay. So that's the money Yeah, yeah, they arrived at all since uh, we lost, uh, we miss, missed in action one of the Italian uh, programs during the last day. Yeah. Three minutes for me? Yeah. Um, Ich 
dann bin ich... Nein, nein, ich, 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 ich will das nur, dass du das weitergibst. Ich fühle mich was ich Wann kann das Ich wollte nur die Situation erleben. Und äh, ja, ich war auch sehr nicht zufrieden, wie das mit dem Lehrerprozess ging. Es war nicht nur die Fehler, aber also auch von Marco. Also, Denn hat mehr schlecht als recht reagiert. Das heißt, äh, Quite obvious what the UK want. And they're um, still ready to offer the same testing. Yes. Absolutely, yes, they want to get this sorted, and if they have, if they are part of the solution, then they're happy to do that. Okay. But they want it to be solved. Yeah. Period. So, okay. um, sort of, we agree with everything that we decided today about all the reports and all of that to get, to get the tool that's on the right track. Yeah. But it's not there yet. Yeah. So. So basically, saying. What's, uh, what is uh, stated in the report? And yeah. so they're willing to do this for the next part too, but they yeah. want better communication and they want some. Yeah, and they want they want commitment yeah. very much. Yeah. That, you know, if, if nothing else, commitment yeah. to, to get it sorted, and then they're happy to support whatever whatever needs to be done. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That is great. Okay, I need to have ten minutes to get a briefing for Thomas, who will take over my delegation, and then. Um, Okay, and then I'm leaving, yeah, I need to get to, back to the hotel and then back to the airport and then back on a plane and back to the hotel. Oh, yes, on my own sofa, you know, where I just stay. See you next time. Uh, you leaving? Okay, nice meeting you. Take care. noch ein langer Tag. Ja. Haben noch Satzungsänderungen? Ja. Okay. Ja. 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 Ja.
Mm, that's we should also say that at the beginning of the yeah, maybe somebody wasn't conscious about the
We'll start again in five minutes. Can we keep the blank screen? Yes, yes. Okay. So you still have seeing stuff somewhere? Yes. Uh, Okay, can everyone please sit down and we will resume.
If everyone could please sit down and be quiet, we will resume the GA. Um, I have a short announcement to make that isn't really part of the GA, like, uh, essentially, but it's important nevertheless. Um, does anybody know what happened to Melis last night, or like where he is? Because his stuff is still here. Melis? The Estonian guy. Yeah, we know, but uh, his stuff is still here, and we can't, like, when we lock the door, we're not going to go get in back, back in here. So our, my idea was to give it to Kuhn, who's here by car. No? Okay. Hmm? Do we have a train? Okay. I think Melis went to the hotel room of Thomasin. Yeah. And I don't know what happened after, because Tom, the Estonian guy, who went to your hotel room, because his stuff is here, and he is missing. We don't know what's going on with the stuff. Okay, we'll see about that. Okay, does anybody have his number? Okay, can you give it to me, like, soonish? I'll come to you. Okay, thank you. Please, uh, let's continue with the thing. There was... One question we had in the um, pad was, we said the fees are due for the next financial year, and there's been some confusion about whether that starts now, or whether that would mean at the 1st of January of next year. Maybe we should shortly clear that up. I would say, I would say now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Thank you. My understandings of the proposal from the, peop uh, the original proposal, which has then been amended, was that it was started this year, so more or less from on tomorrow we will have membership fees, because that is the year that this GA uh, determines about. Um, does that mean because the, it will be a shorter year until the thir 31st of December that the fees will be smaller this year because it's not a full year? <coughs> that has not been decided, we can't decide it. If you wish to speak, please enter the stage because we can't hear you. It's uh, it's a good question. We have to shorten this year because we decided we have a year from the first of January to the thirty uh, ones of December, and the 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 year the fiscal year ends at twenty uh, third of. Uh, December this year. So you can decide that you have only uh, f uh, 4 12 um, of the um, annual fees. Uh, you can decide it, but it makes no sense, I think. If such a proposal comes up, we will discuss it as it comes up. 
Until then, we will go on to discuss this. And uh, off, as always, members of course are uh, free to um, hand in any proposal they may have. Until then, the same fee as decided will be for this year and no shortening thereof. We have then decided upon the um, affiliation fee and we should go on to the motions and statutes amendments. Starting with SAP 1, Court of Arbitration Reform with Council and Jury. Uh, is there anyone here to present this um, this uh, amendment? Okay, then we we'll simply open up for discussion. No one wish to present or discuss this um, suggested amendment. It says it is uh, suggested by Partido Pirata Portugues. I guess that's the Portuguese party, which is not here. Does it? <coughs> Does anyone uh, present have any involvement in this proposition? Okay, then we'll simple up, simply open up for general discussion. Engels will introduce it. So um, I guess I introduce it shortly. I've, I've read it before. It will be like wild guessing around what it's about. What? It's, I, I hear my wire loud, so it's, I think it's probably okay. Um, so this is uh, the proposal for reform of the Court of Arbitration, actually to not um, have the Court of Arbitration the way we have, but instead um, create um, a jury of court of arbitration that would be consist of the members of the PPI. And if somebody have filed a complaint or an issue, they present the possible resolutions. And this, um, uh, the, the court of arbitration, that the, the, the core court of arbitration that is to be to elected, can also produce its own uh, proposals. And then decision, in, any, in every case, will be taken by the jury of the Court of Arbitration, consisting of all members of PPI, so right now uh, from 43 full members, uh, 44 full members from 43 countries, sorry, uh, Catalonia, Espania, uh, same, um, and they will decide on one of the proposals or even could produce additional resolutions themselves. So basically, there would not be um, a court, but uh, the Court of Arbitration, the court, the judges in the Court of Arbitration would only produce um, some kind of a proposal, but the, any decision will be taken by the jury. So, and we will have a Court of Arbitration where every member sends in some kind of a representative, but um, to me it's not really, well, it, that's the proposal. That's, it doesn't say exactly how this jury actually come to be. Thank you. Further discussion on the topic? It seems no one wishes, it seems Jens wishes to speak. This proposal is about the Court of Arbitration, but I think we are missing the report of the Court of Arbitration, because um, if you want to change something, we first should have a look what has happened in the last year. So I would like uh, to someone to present the, the report of the Court of Arbitration. Was there uh, any... Um, yeah, was there any rumor or any, anything that went wrong or something like this? I would like to answer this question partially. Um, the timetable was drafted by the board and adapted by the chair, and it said that there were reports from all the functionaries, including the Court of Arbitration, and I was a little bit late to ask them uh, about the time when the when the lunch began, where, whether there would be any report, I haven't received the mail since then. It could be that something arrived, but I doubt that. Ah, Maxim? <laughs> um, 
Yes, uh, sorry, I didn't follow the previous debates. Um, helping the organization. So, uh, I think the question is about uh, the Court of Arbitration and it's uh, what is has done this year. Um, basically, the Court of Arbitration uh, hasn't uh, ruled on anything uh, this year, to my knowledge. We only have received uh, an email in that sense a few days ago, and uh, I personally um, considered I was in uh, a situation of conflict of interest if I was ruling, because it was about the organization of this GA, and as a coordinator for the French part of the organization, uh, I said I wouldn't participate. I haven't checked my emails yet uh, in since uh, a few hours, so if some email has been sent asking details or anything, uh, I'm just uh, taking uh, knowledge of it, so I'm sorry I can't really report. So basically, uh, Code of Arbitration this year uh, hasn't been really uh, uh, needed for PPI, which is a very good thing. Uh, I would like that uh, we work more years without the need of a Code of Arbitration. And, um, I think basically most of the time when we think we should uh, take so something to the court of arbitration, we should first try to deal together to discuss and to solve the problems by discussion. Um, I don't know if it answers the question, but I don't think there will be much more information from the court of arbitration of this year. Thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion? There seems to be no further discussion on the topic, and, and so it seems we'll simply go on to voting. Okay, we will now vote where yes is an approval of the motion and no is against the motion. It's very simple this time around, which makes me happy. <laughs> Australia. Yes. Belarus. Abstain. Belarus abstains. Belgium. Abstain. Brazil. Yes. Catalonia. Yes. Croatia. Yes. Estonia. I have no answer yet. Okay. France. Yes. Germany. No. Greece. Yes. Hun oh, sorry. Uh, Italy. No. Japan. Kazakhstan? <coughs> no. Netherlands? Yes. Poland? Poland? Poland. Romania? Yes. Russia? No, I, I got an answer from you. Estonia, which is yes. Great. Where's Romania? Romania? Romania abstains. Estonia was? Yes. Estonia was yes. Okay. Slovenia? Yes. Switzerland? No. Tunisia? Yes. Turkey? Yes. UK? Abstain. Norway? Yes. Port also Portugal, yes. And the results are 12.5 12 in, 12 in favor, 6 against, 5 abstentions. So the motion passes. So. Oh, right, this is two thirds as well. Well, it's more than twice, but yes. Yes, but it's supposed to be two, two thirds. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Uh, can everyone please be quiet? According to the statutes, two thirds of all uh, voting um, parties have to vote yes for the motion to pass since it's a change of statutes. And therefore, um, the motion falls. We then move on to SAP 2 Board of Representatives, also by the Portuguese party. Is there anyone here to present that one? OK, um, so I read this as well. So this is a proposal of reform of the board of the Pirate Party International. 
with the reasoning that to create more involvement and um, participation from PPI's members uh, by reform in more, the board instead of being elected committee of um, currently uh, seven people uh, into a board of um, representatives that uh, will consist of one representative per member where every single member of, uh, voting member of a PPI um, will send a representatives and then those representatives will elect among themselves a chairman and a treasurer. Um, so basically we will have a board consisting of 43 uh, people. And, sorry. and we would not need to elect anybody today but just send in the representatives. <laughs> Thank you. Any further discussion on the motion? There seems to be no further discussion on the motion, so we will start voting in 30 seconds. Pat had an amazing clock and now I'd like it. Okay, we'll start voting. Again, yes is in favor of the motion, no is opposed to the motion. Again, reminder that the motion needs two thirds of all, the motion needs two thirds of all participate, uh, participants to vote yes for it to pass. Uh, so even abstention uh, makes it harder for it to pass. Unless that is unclear as it was last time. Australia. Yes. Belarus, also Belarus, yes. Belgium? No. Brazil? Yes. Catalonia? Catalonia? Abstain. Catalonia abstain? Croatia? Yes. Estonia? No. France? No. Germany? No. Greece. <laughs> Is this going to become a battle of whom was to know the most? Seems so. Okay, well, why not? Italy. Japan. Japan, yes. Uh, Kazakhstan. Netherlands. So Netherlands, I get take that as a no. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Shh. Poland. Abstain. Romania. Abstain. Russia. No. Slovenia. Slovenia. Yes. Switzerland. 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 Who's Switzerland? We'll come back to Switzerland, I guess. Eustace was Switzerland. Eustace! Eustace What? No. Okay. Tunisia? Turkey? Abstain. UK? Abstain. Norway? Yes. Portugal? Also yes. And the results are in, and they are eight in favor, nine opposed, 6.5 abstention, and the motion falls. We will not have a mega huge board. And that is the final. Okay, that is the final of the motions and such as amendments, of both of which fell. Then we go on to the fun part of election of PPI officers. I will elect everyone by saying yes or no. Sorry? And we will elect every member of the by uh, like that, like Catalonia, yes, Tunisia, no, Russia, yes. <laughs> We will have to write down in the minutes who voted for was what because we passed that earlier. Uh, but we will. Yes? 
Could we not print approval voting papers so that it will speed up the process? I believe that is already done. Yeah. Justice? There is a motion by the Portuguese Pirate Party to uh, find out whether, or to decide, yeah, no, to find out whether the statutes really say that abstentions count as casted votes or not. Because the way they understood it is that an abstention is not a casted vote, and therefore, at least the first motion would have passed. I don't know about the second one, but yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, but they asked me to, to table the motion, you know, so for everybody who thinks this is a waste of time. But it, I think it's important that we discuss stuff like that, too. We will open up the floor for discussion on that topic. I'm looking at the statues now. Portugal also wanted to add that, uh, as far as they remember, in the past GA substantions did not ca uh, count as casted votes. Yes. SAP 1. Yes. SAP 1 was, uh, did not get two-thirds of, uh, like needs a two-third majority and would have that if abstentions would not count. Let's, so let's Anton make that. Uh, let's, yeah, SAP let's 1 passed, SAP 2 did not. Yes, so the rules of procedure yes. paragraph 6, 6, uh, second, 7. It is said so in the rules of procedure, abstention are taken into account. Yes. Can you please walk up here? Okay. Test. Test, test. Okay. Um, on behalf of Catalonia, is the MPOC 3, which concerns changing the statutes to introduce a mandatory online assembly per year, going to be dealt with now, later, or not uh, at all? Since it was introduced after the beginning of the meeting, I put it at the end of the agenda. So it will be dealt with after the elections. Okay. So today, but not now. Exactly. Okay, as it seems we have cleared up concerning uh, whether this change of statutes passed and that the first one did and the second one did not, we are now entering into elections. Uh, <clears throat> starting with elections of chairpersons, where we are electing two people today, and there are one, two, three, four, four candidates. I would suggest that we simply start by these candidates coming up and presenting themselves one by one, starting with Gregory Engels. Hi, 
actually asked to change the sum I name in the wiki of a candidate which I'm doing right now. And I press save and I'm done. So um I well, I spent a long time with you during this weekend, so I guess uh, it's not really need to introduce myself, I hope. And given the late time um, that we are behind the schedule that we have planned, I, I make it very, very short, and um, I hope to make it better um, next season, provided also the now expressed commitment to PPI by past uh, a budget proposal, even if it's small, it still express a member commitment to the PPI. So um, I think that with that we will be able to produce more and um, correct the faults and, and errors that we had in the past. So I'm very glad that we have so many dedicated good candidates today and I really hope that um, you will allow me to actually uh, continue to work with that people and to continue the organization and so to contribute to further to the growth of the pirate movement. Thank you very much. Thank you. And then, then for the second candidate, which is Patrick Godschalk, who I believe is not here, but can be presented by others. I would like to ask that you speak only of two minutes. Uh, Engels also kept by that length. Yeah, I've been asked to represent Patrick. Patrick is uh, one of the driving forces behind our IT infrastructure. Uh, I will read out the motivation uh, to why he put himself as a candidate for the board. Uh, literally. See, this, this is where it gets interesting. I actually have a serious motivation for doing this, despite the cynical and somewhat humorous first paragraphs here. And that motivation is simple. It's an important one, so let me place it on its own line just so people read it before. You do not fucking announce a GA two weeks before it actually starts. I mean, come on. This is some A++ stand-up bullshit going on here that I expect from liberals, but not from a pirate party. Or at least, I don't want to expect this. So my motivation for the candidature is simple. First, I refuse to acknowledge the validity Validity of this GA in the interest of the member parties that are not the in crowd of Gregory Engels. Second, if this GA still happens, elect me to the board in whatever position and I will immediately move to declare this GA null and void. Third, after which I will immediately step down as board member because I have no actual interest in being one. <laughs> if I'm unable to declare this GA null and void, I will simply not do anything as a board member other than righteously abuse the position to actually fucking inform the member parties of shit like this. And any other board member who in that case would have a problem with this can cordially go fuck themselves. And yes, it, in case it needs explaining, despite running this on a cynical and highly frustrated note, I am that serious about this candidature with this specific motivation. Thank you. You have seven more minutes, seconds. You done? Oh. Oh. <laughs> and now it's over. <clears throat> Thank you. And then we have Marco Confalonieri, who just left. Is, would you like to present him? <coughs> and you have two minutes starting now. Yes. Um, maybe Marco doesn't need a presentation because uh, most of you already know him. Uh, he has gone a few minutes ago because the plane was uh, departing, so he had to, he had, uh, to go. And uh, what I can say about Marco Confalonieri, he, he is uh, the member of the Ring Zero of the PPT. It means was one of the co-founders of the party and has been uh, the international coordinator for many years. Uh, in PPI, he was uh, the in the court of arbitration, and uh, in um, Italy, he was the privacy officer also. Has been our uh, national candidate for the elections of uh, 2013, and uh, now is uh, is being uh, at uh, 
the court of arbitration of the PPET. So, um, what um, I can conclude uh, on a description of Marco that uh, I know him is uh, uh, pragmatic, balanced, and uh, uh, smart and wise. So he can be a good uh, uh, person for changing something inside the PPI. Thank you. And then we go on to uh, Koen de Vogt, which I probably can't pronounce. Wait a minute. Okay, hello. My name is Koen de Vogt. Uh, I'm an engineer by education. I also studied uh, business after that. And uh, <clears throat> one of my uh, most interesting jobs was uh, a research engineer. And in that function, I got first-hand experiencing with uh, working with patents, both in using patents of other companies and actually helping write patents. There is actually a patent that is owned by the company, of course, but which has my name on it. And still, I'm very much convinced that this system doesn't work. And I think this background will help give me a little bit of uh, credibility when talking about patents, which is an important party uh, point. What I've been doing for Pirate Party, uh, I was the, the founder and I'm still the president of the Pirate Party of the city, of, city and province of Antwerp. I'm also a member of the core team of the Belgian Pirate Party. I mostly represent the party and international events. I think most of you have seen me already. I also helped co-organize uh, co uh, an international conference in, in Maastricht with German and Dutch pirates. So this would be similar to what Think Twice is and which I think is a good initiative of uh, PPI, both in organizing its own conference and in supporting things like uh, the Maastricht conference. Uh, I also wrote several articles for Pirate Times. This is actually quite a lot of work, so if I get elected to share person uh, for a PPI, I would have to reduce some of those functions, but I'm willing to go for the PPI uh, position and go for it hard. I think uh, we've heard some mild criticism on how the PPI works here earlier. I think some of it is <laughs> just, but I think some people are also overreacting it. But despite that, I do think we need a refresh of the board of uh, PPI. And that's why I think as a new person that has never been involved in the board of PPI, I can be a valuable asset as a sh share person, or if not, that's up to you as Thank a regular you. board member. <laughs> and those are all the applicants according to the wiki. But there is one more. Have this been entered into the wiki? Or mm? has this been entered into the wiki? Yeah, it is. Can I have an outdated version? But without a photo. Okay, you may start. Uh, okay, the decision to actually candidate was kind of made in the last minute, so I didn't prepare a fancy presentation or something like that. Anyway, I'm Masha, I'm one of the founders of Pirate Party Croatia, and I'm also a chairperson for about three years now and an international delegate for around two years. Uh, I guess the good thing is that my mandate will expire in less than a month, so I will be able to invest all my time and energy in PPI. Uh, what to say? In the last 24 hours or so, I spoke to more than few fellow pirates and we all kind of agree that PPI needs a new direction and I think that I can help with it. That's pretty much it. Vote for me. Thank you. And those are all the, um, the nominations for uh, chairpersons. The voting on this, let's just check the details here.
Okay. The, the election will be done by approval voting, which we have awesome ballots for, in which you can enter as many candidates as you, candidates as you wish. Uh, two will be elected, the two people with the most votes. Um, the tabulators will walk around with the cards, uh, with the ballots, and uh, you will write the first name of either the candidates you wish to have. I will soon present a list of all the candidates' first names. Please do not write any nicknames or the last name or anything of the kind. Just write the first name. Um, in other words, either Gregory, Patrick, Marco, Kern, or Massa. Marsha. And I will soon have a fine little list here with the um, versions. So you can vote for everyone, you can vote for neither, you can vote for one, you can vote for two or whatever you want. Uh, they are in order, so the one on the top is the one you wish to give the most votes. No, it is not. It's approval, I'm sorry. It's approval. Okay, to clarify what I meant to say earlier, but which I was really confused and did not say, um, it is approval voting, which means that you will write down all the candidates you wish to see as a per chairperson. Uh, they will give the exact same number of votes regardless of the order you've placed them in. So if you give uh, one vote to each candidate, it's the same as giving... Um, question. Uh, for it, you say it's approval voting. Does it, that means like the, the uh, candidates that get selected need 50% support. So giving every candidate a vote or none is di completely different in that way. Yes, that's true. I'm sorry. There is a separate, there is a, can everyone please be quiet. As the ballot looks, as everyone with voting power will see, it says one, blur, two, blur, three, blur. You can write whatever, can I, last, can I please, can I please finish speaking and that would be answered. You write whatever candidates you wish, their first name, at the bottom it says country, that's where you write your country. The order does not matter. You can see all the possible alternatives on the screen now.
As soon as you're ready with your ballots, please come forth and give them to the tabulators.
Results are in, if everyone could sit down and be quiet. Nine for Gregory. Three for Patrick. Eight for Marco. Eight for Marco. Thirteen for Kuhn. Thirteen for Kuhn. Nineteen for Marsha. We have a share persons. We have two share persons, that's amazing. And now we have a few seconds for celebration. Okay, could everyone sit down and be quiet and then we can go on to the election of the rest of the board. Great. And Cohen is now stricken from the candidates to the regular board as Hans already elected. <clears throat> I would actually propose my candidature for regular board member then, since I'm not okay, that elected. Speak. Oops. Yeah. So, um, well, congratulations to the newly elected chairman and or chairs, actually, but chairman, chairwoman. Um, so given the fact that I come in third, so I would thank you for your support and actually um, would not deny that on hand that actually there are people who want to see me on the PPI board, so I would um, change my mind and actually also run as a board member uh, for one of the five positions of a regular board member to support the newly elected chairman chairs to actually to have a smooth transition and to have a, a good uh, PPI operation. Thank you. Gregory has been added to the list and now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 candidates for these five positions. Um, we will do as before with a timer. This time, the timer will be set at one minute because we are kind of running out of time. We have to be finished in about one hour because shortly thereafter my train leaves. Um, and we will simply uh, let everyone introduce themselves or be introduced for by someone else if they are not here, starting with Dennis, who can come up and 
who can be presented. So as you can see, I'm not Dennis, but he's on the flight back to Switzerland. So uh, he'd been on the board, he'd been uh, competent in the, the press part. I know he knows uh, does, uh, German, French, English, he knows a bit of Italy, and he wanted to continue his work starting, uh, he'd done with uh, the WIPO and the, the WTO. So hopefully, and I'm organizing how the conferences, hopefully you go for a road for him. Thank you. Thank you, and then Patrick again. Do we need a second introduction of Patrick? Does anyone want to introduce Patrick a second time? No one seems to want to, then we go on to the next one. Sorry? <laughs> yes, Patrick has already been introduced and uh, there is no need of introducing again. Can everyone please sit down and be quiet? Please. Andesh, can you please? Marco uh, has also been introduced. Oops. So hello. Now Thomas has to stop speaking. So my name is Thomas Gold. Some of you know me. I've been on the board before, uh, twice uh, being board member, once uh, only being alternate member, not being involved. That had been changed last year, so the alternate board member are involved in the work. And hopefully I can continue the work I've started last year because uh, even the process in the, with the monitoring with the UK needs continuance and hopefully I can do so and you can trust me to re-elect me to the board. Thank you. Thank you. Then Sebastian Korner. Yes, great moments. Um, a lot of people know me and um, I will make it shortly. I'm applying for the treasurer as a member of the board. And since my first uh, chairman's job in Frieshafen, I accompanied uh, International Move Me continuously. I worked a lot, I visited a lot of um, um, assemblies uh, for the PPU and so on. Um, it would be an extraordinary challenge for me to organize all the necessary structures for the PPI. And for me, I'm a prof professional accountant, uh, also a consultant, so I know what the task means and even in respect of the motions we had adopted today, uh, in German we say, uh, you're looking for Eierlegende Wollmichsau, and uh, that's uh, um, um, it's a, a problematic job. And I won't be missed in action. Additionally, and sorry for that, odd, our finances are a disaster. Thank you. That's one minute. Uh, okay. So, um, uh, all the things in the past came to terms, and see you. Thank you. Uh, it has been noted that in the results to Sherpas, and it was, uh, uh, they had forgotten to count the Catalonia only as a half a vote, but it doesn't change the results. It doesn't change anything, it's only the... It's only the numbers, but it doesn't change the results in some way. But, yeah. Okay, on Anders Klepper. Get anything. Um, I'm going for the board in the PPI because I'm uh, very interested in international matters and to, uh, to make the Pirate Party movement strong on a global basis. Uh, so for those of you who haven't read my presentation on the wiki, uh, what I want to basically do is try to increase the trustworthiness of pirates uh, amongst ordinary people uh, because we are struggling with that it's in several regions and even continents. Um, at the same time, we were, we were at a few sessions yesterday, so knowledge transfer is between pirates is an issue for me that I want to focus on. Uh, we have started a project in Europe now uh, and I would love to see that go global. Um, thank you. That's one minute. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <coughs> uh, 
Kern has already been elected and uh, is thus stricken from this selection. Uh, Statis, to be presented by Antonio, I presume. Hello, I'm afraid Statis was not able to come here today, so I'm going to read uh, his introduction of him for you. I'm a member of the board and a member of the press team of Pirate Party of Greece, former journalist, now a freelancer. I'm in a team of Pirate Times from the start. I joined voluntarily and consciously became uh, because I am interested to meet pirates from around the world, to exchange views and spread the pirate spirit. I am also running both as candidate for MEP for PPGR and city councillor in the municipality of Kalkis in Greece. Uh, the English pirate is derived from a Greek word piratis, and this in turn from the verb piraume, which means I attempt, which comes also from pira, which is experience. And uh, I think I have less time, so maybe I should yeah, skip the gist of it. Uh, and yes, he's one of our better press team people. He's not afraid to go behind the camera or behind the keyboard to express the pirate spirits. So I think you should vote for him. Thank you. And then we have uh, Thomas Lubinski, who I believe is not here. Is there anyone wanting to represent him? There seems not to be. Well, he wanted to what? He didn't want to run anymore. Okay, someone has to confirm that with him until until someone confirms that we have to assume that he do, does. Um, but we'll go on. What? what? Does anyone have a means of contacting him? Okay, they will try to contact him. Until then, we will go on. Spigniew uh, Lukasiak? No, he said it to me. Yeah, he didn't say it officially, so he's still on the wrong. Yeah, so if, he's, if someone else running for the same position as him said he's not running, that's kind of a rumor we can't say. Um, yeah. But they're trying to. Yeah. Until then, uh, Spigniew is not here, correct? Does anyone want to present him? In that way, we, in that uh, case, we go on. Min Chiaki. And you have one minute starting now. Konnichiwa. Hello, everybody. I am a musician. I'm <coughs> Japanese music pirates reader. I am Min Chiaki. Japanese pirates call me sensei or Min-chan. So you can call me that. In Japan, if you wanted to perform your creative activity, for example, to play music or to show a mixture of the artistic works or old great artists, you must be astonished at the bill from Jaslak, Japanese Writing Authority. I personally got such a bill for over a thousand euro of a music score. Jaslak asked us to pay charge of music copyright if we played Totoro, for example. So that's why the Japanese music pirates are biggest part of the Japanese Pirates Party movement. Thank you. That's one minute. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, have, then we go on. Uh, Shamsuddin Benjamin. Do you wish to present? Um, uh, yeah, he, uh, uh, he, he's a member of party, uh, Pirate Party of Tunisia. He was there. Uh, he was here yesterday. Um, anyway, uh, should we can? Okay, he's the founder of the Pirate Party of Tunisia. He's an open source uh, activist. He's founder of uh, the, uh, of a startup named Open Tunisia. It's a startup developing software for uh, governments. For it's uh, open source developing software, software like e-voting software. E-petition, etc., etc., and uh, 
Last year, he won the 2013 Award of Public Figure Fighting for Transparency here in the, back in Tunis. So, if you want someone, open source um, mind, open source open-minded person, he's the he's the right guy. And yesterday, he was talking about uh, how to uh, how to create ser servers to uh, support the other p other PPs. So, anyway, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Then we have then we have Gregory if he wants to introduce himself again. Okay. Um, I want actually well again um, thank you for your previous votes and see this is a new game. Uh, it would be a new position. Last time I have not been elected to the court of arbitration in 2011 uh, to the to the board to the court chairman. I said then I would not run it at all. Uh, I'm now more evolved and more uh, mature, so I'm actually not. Um, don't take it any personally, so I will contribute myself in the board, for as a regular board member, um, with all my force as I have, and I want to put any personal um, reasons aside and actually uh, vote for me, please. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it has become clear that Thomas is running, indeed, as stated here. So all of these people are still running. Um, we have had presentations from everyone except for Thomas and uh, Spigniew. And as such, it is time to begin the voting. These are all the candidates. We will do the same as in last time. We have approval. Yes? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. What are you saying? Can you please speak louder because I can't hear you? Marco. Yes? He's here. What do you want? Yeah, of course, you can do that. It was asked earlier. Now I was just to say that uh, Marco is running through the board elections, uh, so he's a very experienced uh, guy in Italy in the PPI uh, IT, and uh, he could use his, his uh, experience here in the PPI as uh, he did also in, in the last years. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> As, yes. Yes. Uh, these are all the these are all the possible things to write in your ballots. Uh, as in last case, we go with approval voting, so you can name up to seven candidates. Um, the five which receive the most mentions on all ballots will be chosen. Um, there is no internal selection. Just write down the first name, no last name, no nickname, not anything. Uh, just any of these. Um, the tabulators will soon give out the ballots. Then you will simply uh, write down, sign your own. Can everyone please be quiet? Then you will simply write down what candidates you are in favor of, uh, your own country in the bottom, and then hand them into the tabulators, just like last time. Sorry for interrupting. Um, we just wanted to also uh, keep get your attention that uh, Pirates Without Borders has been rebooted. And if you are interested in um, working a bit less formal than in PPI um, and like a bit more uh, uh, um, 
concentrating on the social aspects. We have member uh, membership uh, formulas over there, also online, of course. Um, if you want to become a member, you can fill it out and give the uh, give the um, the sign up form to me, and I will hand it further. Thank you. Ich 
さんはどのような人ですか
Do we have the results? If everyone could be quiet and settle down. Can someone shout at the people outside and tell them to get in? Can everyone sit down and be quiet? We have the results. This is exciting and stuff. As 50% of all votes except abstentions are needed, we only have three elections elected. Thomas, Anders, and Gregory. Sorry? 23 and a half is the number that you can get. So you need 20... There are 23.5 votes, three abstentions, half of those so half of 20.5. Yeah. So we only have three people with enough votes to be elected. Um, I'm unsure as to statutes here. Um, do we need to have five or can we uh, have these vacant? We can have these vacant. The question is, do we want to? I, I would say we need five. Yeah. Yes. 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 There seems to be consensus that we need five. Do you have any objections that can come up and speak? The Party of Lower Saxony suggests that uh, 
we see if we can get a um, like seeing that results if we can get a majority for Stathis and Shamsadina. Okay. So so if that's possible, that you know, like that we just may make for the short show of hands that the, we accept the order, and we just see that we get more than 50% for Stathis and for Shamsadina. Okay. okay, never mind. Cancel that. Can everyone be quiet? And if, can everyone be quiet? And then, if person, people want to speak, they go up to the stage. Shh. Actually, in this case, I would really like Sebastian to be on board as well because he has experience being a treasurer, and I think we need an experienced treasurer to kickstart the new reporting. Sebastian. I believe the only uh, thing we can do to follow the rules of procedure, if we wish not to change them, is to have a re-vote of the rest to elect three more people, two more people. Uh, yes, the elections must happen by ballot votes. We can't have. Uh, if anyone wants to speak, please enter the stage. There seems to be no objections. There seems to be no objections against this, so we'll simply have a new ballot vote to elect the three other people where we... Can everyone please quiet down? We don't have much time and we'd like to make this happen. We'll simply have a, a new ballot voting where Thomas, Anders and Gregory are all, already elected and we will exclude these from the uh, coming vote. Um, and we'll simply vote who gets the most votes to be number one and two. Everyone quiet down. I motion for a change in the rules of procedure which now govern that we must use ballots for election voting and we, that we instead use uh, approval voting by show of hand for the coming uh, positions. Because ballot voting takes a lot of time and since we already know the results of ballot voting. Does anyone object to this? The problem with all of these currently is that in the ballot voting they did not get 50% either of these. Uh, and they must have 50% to be elected into the board. Um, as such, we'll now do a show of hand to decide uh, all uh, this regular voting that we used previously and not ballot voting to decide if any of these people have 50% and therefore can be elected. If, they, if any of these people are, have 50%, we will take the ones that have the highest uh, vote in the ballot voting and elect them as soon as they have 50% of the votes. Yes, th this is a motion to change the rules of procedure. Ah, okay. 
Does anyone understand the, this change? Okay, brother. Does anyone not understand this? Okay, then I will take it more clearly. Bye. Can I? Uh, um, I think it's uh, better to just do approval voting on all of them again, and then take the on the new voting the highest results, and not stick to this one. Okay. There is a suggestion uh, in which we will do another approval voting with ballots, and. Uh, yeah, we can do it with okay. show of hands, but just count the number of hands. Yes. The problem is that the current rules of procedure disallow hands by election. They, okay. they demand ballots. We can change rules of procedure, but then we have to decide on that. So then the motion would be to do uh, approval voting and counting the number of hands to uh, create a new ordering. Okay. So, so why shouldn't we just follow the rules of procedure and have additional round of voting and we'll see what happens? And if there we have no two additional people who are giving over 50%, then we we'll solve this problem when it arises. If anyone wants to speak, please enter the stage. I believe the only reason you proposed this was to, to make it go faster, right? Uh, I'm not opposed to that. I'm not opposed to using ballots. Um, so, but faster might be better. The GA is slated to end in five minutes. I have to leave in 25 minutes, and then we will have no chairperson. I would think it would be kind of problematic if we continue the meeting without. Therefore, I suggest we go by the fastest route possible. That's why I've suggested that we go um, and change the rules of procedure and make it possible to uh, have a simple vote and not ballot voting, since that will take at least half of the time we have left. And we still have three more elections to go, which means that by that time we will be finished around one hour after we have to be finished. I dare suggest that we have a regular vote to see which of these people have the highest result. Uh, that any of these who have at least 50% of the votes are, are elected into the board? Um, we objected to that, but we counter-proposed with um, doing approval voting using show of hands. So you count the number of hands and then you create a new ordering. So not just uh, if somebody gets 50% uh, and then this, this numbers uh, create the order. Please quiet down if you don't stand by the microphone. Uh, why discuss this? Let's just do it. Either follow the procedures, give out new ballots, or we take name by name and raise hands. Yeah, but the thing is, the procedures are we have to give out uh, the ballots, right? So, so let's do it, please. Can I? Okay, look. Um, the, the, um, we sh no, nobody should use ballots, but we should have a complete new voting and not use th those orders like that's there uh, by statutes. We, if, if we do, uh, want to speed up things, we can do it by just not using ballots but hand raising, but we cannot use this order. We have to use the order in the second, the new voting. Yes. That's all I'm saying, actually. And I I think I'm just not uh, confusing some people or something. Cause so, are there any objections to you doing it this way? Can you clarify the motion? To do approval voting using raising of hands to create a new order uh, where, uh, and then pick the two, uh, top two candidates who have yes. at least 50%. Yes. Are there any objections to using this method? Thank you. Yes. I think that in general it's good. Please stand by the mic. 
uh, if there is a motion about uh, election procedures, then this motion should be uh, put into force in next elections, not in the same elections. Otherwise, it's a very good uh, uh, entry point for hijacking the whole organization. Does that, does that just does not uh, demand that? Well, basically, we're not changing anything. The only thing we're changing is instead of using ballots for speed, which we're not creating actually, uh, raising hands. And we just, for the rest, we exactly follow the statutes. Can I say something? Yes. Could somebody please distribute uh, those ballots so we can get over with it? Since there, were no, since there were no objections from delegates last time when we decided to go by hands, we will go by hands. Sorry, there was a objection. From a delegate? Yes. Are you a delegate? Yes. Okay. Go off with the ballots. Ich habe jetzt äh, von der D. Ja, ja. Okay, und D sind 30. Ja. Just a small reminder, we still have 50% approval, so please write as many names as possible so we get two persons elected.
since we have a moment of doing nothing. I want to ask somebody who has a nice Pirate Party t-shirt or sweater that I don't have yet to maybe make a trade for a Dutch Pirate Party t-shirt or a flag. I've got two Dutch flags with me and one t-shirt. So if somebody wants to trade... Yes? The results are in. We have one, everyone please be quiet. We have one person which has been elected and one person which is half, an, half a vote away from being elected. Um, yes. Hence, which maybe we should have gone by hands. We are going to double check it just to be sure, but it seems so. F first of all, who is elected? Bastian. Bastian has been elected. Would the GA have a problem with uh, Holland adding one more name to the ballot? Who would that be? Status. Can everyone please quiet down? The this is uh, one way that the PPI rules of procedures and statutes are unclear. Uh, the general practice is that that is not possible. Uh, these statutes and these rules of procedure do not say that. Um, we can, as always, change rules of procedure if there is a consensus, uh, or we can have a revote. Would there be an objection to doing this? What you are motioning is to change the rules of procedure into clarifying that this would be acceptable, yes. if I understand you correctly. Yes. Would there be an objection to such a clarification in the statutes, in the, in the rules of procedure? The, prob the problem is that it would. Um, so I still say just give out the ballot so we can finish it. <laughs> don't, don't discuss it, just do it. Just do it. I would, I would, can everyone please quiet down and if you want to speak please go to the stage because we are lacking of time. And this takes a lot of time. Yes, you're one of the ones who are speaking, Anders. I would suggest that we have another election where we simply hand out these and there is just one uh, alternative in which you get to choose whether you, ex whether you are in favor of this candidate or not. Where you can print either this candidate or none. And if that more than 50% of the parties choose this candidate, he is elected. I have a very quick, easy solution. 
everyone comes up. If you want to add someone to your list, you can add someone. And then we do the recount very easily and just see who is added. And then we can do, okay. do it really quick. That would be acceptable by the rules of procedure and status and common practice if we see it as a re-vote, in which it is also possible to strike candidates if you wish so. In other words, we'd, if anyone, please quiet down and listen. If, please, can you quiet down and listen? We do a re-vote in which we use the same ballots as, uh, as last time. If you wish to remain them intact, in other words, vote exactly the same, that is acceptable. If you wish to add someone, that is acceptable. If you want to strike someone, that is acceptable. Does this sound good? It does seem like it sounds good. And then, in that case, we do that. So everyone, please come up and take the chance to change your ballots, if need be. Thank you. 
there are any more changes, this is a time to report them. We have results. Status have been elected. And now we have an ordinary board, uh, board a regular board. Um, and uh, someone reminded me that we have to ask the, elect uh, the elected individuals if they accept their positions as well. Is Masha still here? They haven't accepted. Yeah, they haven't accepted. Is Masha still here at some point? Can someone please call to the others? Oh, Masha's coming. Masha, do you accept? Do you accept the role as chairperson? Uh, what? Do you accept the role as chairperson? The lecture is off. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and the Cohen is somewhere? Outside. Okay, can someone call in Cohen? And until then, Thomas, do you accept? Yeah. Bastian, do you accept? Yeah. Anders, is he still here? Outside. Can someone call Anders? Uh. 
I think they're trying to restart this. Do Gregory accept? Yes. Sorry? How many votes does that get? 13.5. Status accepts. Andesh, do you accept your do you accept the results? Yes. And Cohen, do you accept your results? I met Cohen. Cohen. Yes. Do you accept the results? Cool. Now we go on to alternate board members. Um, in which we have one candidate did, which did not run for uh, ordinary board, so therefore we have to do it in a completely different election. Um, yes. Uh, yes, my dim. Yes, sin. I'm sorry. Oops. Does anyone want to present Yasin? Yes. Can everyone please be quiet? Please. Can everyone sit down and be quiet? So um, Yasin is from the Turkish Pirate Party. Uh, I'm just a uh, uh, proxy of the Pirate Party. So I will uh, read his uh, motivation. Uh, I asked the chairman of the General Assembly to put it also on the screen. So, you know, it's English, so some people like to hear, but some other people prefer to read. And uh, I hear from the room that uh, it's in the wiki, so you can also read it in the wiki. Thank you, Gregory. Okay, um, so I will uh, read his text. So uh, this is Yasin talking. I am a natural born pirate. I'm committed and ready to work anytime, anything for the PPI. I am new to pirate politics, so I did not run for regular board membership this year. I am and I was an alternate board member of the PPI 2013-2014, and I have attended most of the member meetings past year. So I have experience on how to be an alternate board member. I am a leftist Liberian, like Gandhi, and I attended the Gezi Park events, which was the civil rise up in Turkey in summer 2013. I am the one on the photo taken on the first day of solidarity. Thank you. Okay, we will now vote for alternate board members. I believe uh, Joseph is already handing out the ballots. We'll do exactly the same as last time. Again, 50% for election. Uh, please keep that in mind so we don't have to redo it way too many times. Do you wish to speak? Yes. Could we please, um, I would suggest that we already spoke for these people several times and so we skip it this time. Can I speak? No, I suggest that we uh, skip. I please, just, can you I just want to right suggest to vote five of the six uh, people in order to win uh, the only one ballotage and not repeat it uh, and again. Uh, please, uh, uh, I have to say just a suggestion to the assembly. You cannot say no uh, if I want to. No, but uh, you can't interrupt okay. people when they're speaking. That's why I asked you to not. No, you said no. You asked if, if someone wanted to speak and I came here, you said no. So, uh, what's the matter? I did not ask if anyone wanted to speak. 
but now you have already spoken. Any more comments before the election? Okay, then the election begins.
das war jetzt wirklich auch nicht der Gang. Results are in. <clears throat> we have four people with enough votes to be elected. That's loud. Does Marco accept uh, the election? Does anyone? Yeah. Does Min accept it? Min, do you accept the results? Where is Min? Min. 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 Do you accept the results? Yes. 
And Shamsuddin, does anyone? Okay. <laughs> and Yasin? Uh, wait a minute for the answer. What? Oh, Yasin. Uh, okay. What? Master Has Yasin answered? Yeah. Then we go on to the next part. The court arbitration where we have three to seven positions and we have four candidates. Five candidates, that's one more. Oh, that's one. <laughs> where we have five candidates and we need at least three of them. Um, Yeah, and we still need 50%. <clears throat> now we start with um, presentations of these candidates for court of arbitration, starting with Bradley Hall. Does anyone want to present him? Um, somehow I show you the candidate that's updated here from Hatil. Sorry? Yeah. What did you say? And which party sponsored? Uh, what? Sponsors. Okay. <laughs> now we have six candidates. <clears throat> Does anyone want to present Bradley? No one seems to want to present Bradley. Then we will go on. Someone want to present? Okay. What? No, okay. Andrew. No one? Okay. Shell? Um, hello, um, I'm Kjell. I'm from the Belgian Pirates, but most of you know me, I think. Um, I'm in the board of the Belgian Pirates. Um, I didn't really prepare much of a speech because I only like just decided to put my candidacy forward. Um, but I think the court of arbitration is actually an uh, important part of uh, PPI because, well, most of all, you need to try to. Uh, prevent uh, conflicts, but if there are conflicts, you need a good way to solve them in a decent way. And as I saw, for, for example, for the PPI uh, GA now, uh, things were going wrong, and I think actually a uh, court of arbitration should have made a ruling or something on this to make stuff more clear. And so, yeah. Thank you. Then Jacob. So, I'm Gijs, I'm from the Dutch Pirate Party. Uh, like Kjell, this candidacy is last minute. Um, uh, I view my life as, Buddha, uh, as a Buddhist, so I'm not uh, really religious, but I try to find the middle path in conflicts, and this is how I would uh, deal with any conflicts, to try to find the middle solution in a peaceful way, resolve every issue. Just really short speech. Um, no space cake, sorry. <laughs> Only if you come to my house, but now I'm not buying your vote. Thank you. Vasilis. Vasilis? Yeah. Hello, I am not Vasilis. 
Um, so Vasilis Peranzakis has been a member of the Pirate Party of Greece uh, since the beginning. He is part of the Court of Arbitration also in Greece. Uh, so he has experience with arbitrating. And generally, I would say he's one of the members who don't get easily derailed in a discussion and uh, will be good in case of conflict to have. Thank you. Ah. And Henrik, anyone want to present? Yes. And Yasin accepts, by the way. Uh, so Henrik asked me to introduce him by saying that he is a fucking pirate. To which he added that he speaks English, uh, Portuguese, Spanish and some French. Thank you. Now we have all the presentations, then we go on directly to the voting. Okay. Everybody that has more than 50% of us, I guess. Yeah. Unless anything else is decided beforehand. Yes. So the case is, please, shh, please go quiet. So the question, uh, if anyone raises a motion to decide in the number beforehand, that is done so. Otherwise, it will simply be the, the number who get 50% majority. And no people seem to raise such a motion, so therefore we simply go on with the vote. Again, 50%, please write down the first name, no nicks. Um, the number of people who, well, since there are only six candidates, all of them could technically be elected, or fewer of them. But at least three people to have at least 50%. Thank <laughs> you. 
While waiting for the results for cut of arbitration, we begin with the lay auditor uh, election. If everyone could sit down and quiet down. Exactly, we were just about to ask you. <laughs> okay, if everyone sit down and quiet because we're still in meeting. <coughs> if everyone sit down and quiet, we ha we're still in meeting. We go on with the election to lay auditors where we have. We have the results. Yeah. Okay, we have the results. Six abstentions.
The cutoff is at nine, so everyone except for Andrew has been elected. We have a court of arbitration. <laughs> Does anyone have contact with Bradley? Does anyone have contact with Bradley? Yeah. Can you check if he accepts? Uh, Worst case, send off an email. Shell accepts? Yes, I do. Cool. Does Jacob accept? Yes, I do. Vasilis accept? Antonio? Does Henrik accept? Okay, can you send off an email or something? I don't know. Henrik? Did you check? Yeah, Henrik accepts. Great. Now we go on to. If you say so. Okay, now on to lay auditors where we have three nominations for three positions, Pat, Justice and Melis. Does Pat want to introduce himself or does anyone want to introduce Pat? It seems not. Anyone introduce Justice? You have 30 seconds. So, um, Pat has been active in the International uh, Pirate Party and Pirate Parties International for quite some time. Um, if I remember correctly, he was um, a member of the board like two years ago. He has been the lay auditor, um, yeah, the last year at least. I don't know what exactly he did. It. I don't have the wiki in front of me. Um, yeah, you, you've seen him sitting here. You've seen him present his lay audit. Um, his work speaks for himself. And yeah, please vote for him. Thank you. And now justice. Yeah, thanks for the Dutch Pirates for sponsoring me. Um, I hope that most of you know me already as well. I'm from Germany. I've been active in the international coordination since 2010. Uh, have been I'm on the, a board member of PPEU, um, a part of the uh, treasurement of Pirates Without Border, uh, and also locally I've uh, done um, the lay auditing of the Pirate Party of Linden Limmer, District of Hanover. And um, yeah, Patrick. Or like in general, we need hardworking people for there. Um, I think uh, I can deliver that. Thank you. Thank you, Melis. Hello, my name is Melis, and I've set myself up as a auditor for the Pirate Parties International. Uh, what to say, I'm very glad that all the three candidates have background for um, Pirates Without Borders, which is sort of a more loose sister organization for the pirate parties. And I hope that uh, I would there also be carrying out the part of integrating those two movements and uh, seeing Pat and Justus as uh, good, uh, 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 good guys to review the design and code. I myself see Thank myself... You more as a thank you uh, focusing on the human component and uh, also i am a candidate thank you. for the you can stop speaking now european parliament elections we have lacking in time okay then we're going to the election do we have ballots yet oh. ballots are coming soon Bradley, Bradley accepts. And we have ballots. 
It works the same way as every other time. You probably know how it works by now, but I can say it again because I like speaking and I like hearing my own voice. Uh, you elect one, two, or three, preferably three, since we need three. Uh, if not three people have um, over 50% majority, we will do a revote unless otherwise decided. A revote is automatically cast according to rules, uh, the rules of procedure unless otherwise. Uh, a revote would be uh, nonsense because it only did three candidates for three positions. So yes. That's what. The first people who vote yes until. Yeah. Uh, yeah, have to keep voting until they vote yes. It's like. They don't have to yes, or, uh, or until the GA decides, decides otherwise. Those are the rules of procedure which were decided upon in Kazan, and we have not decided otherwise yet. Anyone who has not handed in the ballots? Okay. Vasilis has accepted.
We have results. Pat, Justus, and Melis are all elected as lay auditors. Okay. Pat, can everyone please quiet down? We're almost at the end of the conference. Seriously, please. Pat cannot accept because he's on an airplane, and apparently they still don't have Wi-Fi on those things for some reason. Uh, just as yesterday, he accepts, um, and Melis yes. accepts. Yeah. And now we will move on to the motion that was suggested at the beginning of the meeting, in which we will have a GA every year. Will someone present? There was a motion that was suggested when we discussed the original motions at the beginning in which we would have a GA online every year. Sorry? Switzerland. Switzerland. Does anyone want... Can everyone please quiet down and if someone wants to speak, please go up to the stage. Okay. Does anyone want to present this motion? Uh, well, give me a second. Okay. Okay. Um, so I have looked it up. Everyone, please quiet down. If you wish to speak, go out of the room. I wish you to stop sp talking now. Stop talking now, please. So there was a counter marshal that had been moved to the back of the list, uh, which was to decide at this day that there should be at least one online GA every year as a long-term decision, so people can prepare and actually that we would execute that. Um, this. Um, was a counter motion to have like an extraordinary GNA uh, very soon, but we already decided against. Uh, but actually, this is seen not to fix uh, like the results of this J or whatever, but actually just to um, execute a long term uh, plan to have online GAs parallel to physical. Thank you. Does anyone else wish to speak on the subject? Well, just to tell you all, uh, it's also on the, on the board's discretion to uh, invite to an online uh, General Assembly any time. So, and some, and so, in my belief, we do not need uh, a decision by the GA in any way. Thank you. Thank you. Can we go directly to voting, or does anyone else have anything to say? Uh. Yeah, well, Russia. Um, we have already installed in the statutes the online uh, e-democracy system, which is not a J, but actually the possibility to put um, um, decisions uh, on motions um, in an online way. We have already installed it and it's running. Um, so we propose to um, not to vote on this today, but actually move it into the e-democracy system so it can be voted by everybody uh, with the due considerations, uh, also by people who are not present today or already left. Thank you. So you, you count a motion to push this until the next meeting. Okay. So we have until the next online meeting. Yes. Okay. No. <laughs> if we can just take this instead of, please. Can we please just take this as I speak, and then if you want to speak and make a serious motion, go up to the stage. Otherwise, stop doing things. We will thus now uh, vote whether we should discuss this today or push it to the next meeting. Motion, so no, this is not a procedural motion. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, okay. So I will simply go through all the countries again and we will see 
who wishes to vote yes? In other words, if you vote yes to push this motion until the next meeting or anything thereof. Um, and no, no, we will take care of it today. Australia. 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 Australia abstains. Belarus. Belgium. Belgium. Yes. Brazil. Yes. Shh. Catalonia. Not yet. No. Okay, we'll come back. Croatia. Uh, yeah. Estonia. Uh, not yet. France. Yes. Germany. Yes. Greece. Yes. Italy. Yes. Japan. Yes. Shh. Shh. Kazakhstan. Yes. Netherlands. Yes. Poland. Poland. Um, Romania. Yes. Russia. Yes. Slovenia. Switzerland. No. Is there nothing for Slovenia? Yet. Yes. Okay. Tunisia. Do we wish to push this until the next meeting, or should we discuss it today? No. No, this yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it's yes for us, and uh, yes for Catalonia. Okay. Okay. We do not wish to postpone. Okay. Then it's no. Yes. Yes is to postpone it. No is to do today. Okay. And what is no? Okay. 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 Good. Turkey. Uh, what now? So no. UK. Norway. Yes. Have we received any replies from the ones we passed? Estonia. Estonia. Okay. Uh, Slovenia. Slovenia. Okay, so we will not discuss it today, but we'll push it to the next meeting. Then we go on to issues of statements, resolutions, and similar. Do we have any of those? No then we go on until Thomas wishes to speak something before we end. Yeah, well, on behalf of the board, I would like to say uh, thank you all for attending the conference here, especially to the chairs who took over on a short term. I believe they did a good job. <laughs> and also uh, the other people who helped in here and the team and the host uh, from France. Thank you very much. And I hope you've enjoyed Paris in a way, the social events or whatever you've done, and have a nice trip back home. But a very, very, very last thing. Uh, please help us uh, to remove all the furnitures in here because we have to leave the room at 8 o'clock. So please help us. Thank you a lot. See you again next year. Thank you. And, uh And thank you. I would like to express my thanks for the board uh, who organized this and also for the uh, hard work they put in for the last year. And hereby end the Congress.